pretty exciting episode, guys. Yeah, welcome. 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 Forehead Fables in the Flesh. <laughs> welcome. Uh, I'm going to turn that off now. That's horrifically loud. It's really annoying. Yeah. We, uh, we decided, you know what, it's enough of you guys giving to us. Now, we're going to do the same amount of labor that you guys have used to accumulate all the subscriptions and we're gonna <laughs> all this wealth and power <laughs> yeah. yeah and we're gonna put all the, this creative energy into making some collages which we're then going to mail out to patrons but not every patron not every <laughs> yeah it's all like a, i don't even know how you're gonna pick uh i'm gonna pick the ones that give me their addresses okay. first and yeah. so many of them won't a lot of them are know? commenting their like addresses on the last episode that's not gonna work I wouldn't do that yeah. just for safety. Yeah, um, don't do that. What, email? No, it, on uh. the Patreon app, there, you, there's a setting. They should be able to... What, I, shot a, I shot an entire introduction for oh, that episode and explained it. the situation and how to update their address, and they're still just commenting their address. Maybe those they people, were joking and I missed it, but I saw some addresses. I don't okay. Know. I'm going to mail those people dangerous stuff. Mm -hmm. The people that follow the rules, they're going to get these awesome mm -hmm. collages. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, guys. This episode is brought to you by Factor. They have fresh, never frozen, pre-prepared, dietitian approved meals that they send directly to your doorstep. So you don't have to bother cooking or finding a, a significant other that'll cook for you or anything. You can just focus on what you're working on and pop these into the microwave. In two minutes, yeah. they're prepared. 35 different options. 35 60 plus different options. And guys, um, these are flexible and fast and no mess, no prep. High protein, vegan, vegetarian options. They got it all. You know, like whatever your diet needs factor this in They've unless you options. eat bad food they don't make that yeah. hey guys it's me brian head to factormeals.com slash forehead 50 and use code forehead 50 to get 50 percent off once again that's code forehead 50 at factormeals.com slash forehead 50 to get 50 percent off it's good to see you guys again. It's me, Brian. And that's, that's something, something you should, should factor in. in. Honestly, it's been some pretty good... Uh, it's It's been work that hasn't felt like work. No. Which is nice. Yeah, that is nice. Yeah. And uh, there's been very little creative head bumping, which usually happens when I work with anybody. Yeah, me too. Me too. We've done a good job of compromising, mm -hmm. keeping things dynamic. Or keeping ne negligible things yeah. from being an issue. Yeah. Which is yeah. really where uh, we had a lot of hangups. Because sometimes things were kind of static. And we're like, dynamically, these need to look better. At times, we didn't even know the words to say. Mm -hmm. But we could tell something was wrong, and now they're awesome. Yeah. They've turned out really, really well. You don't even need a frame, honestly. Just some double side tape. I would recommend probably the most expensive frame you have. If you had maybe a portrait of a family member from the <laughs> late 1800s, pop that sucker out. Nobody cares about them anymore. You don't remember them, you they're, know? They're gone. They're gone. These are here and now. These are new. These need to go in that nice frame you have, whatever it may be. And dare I say timeless. Timeless, too. These are something that... Maybe your your grandchildren are gonna be like fuck that picture of of great my great 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 grandpa. I'm glad I got this collage from these podcast guys in that frame now. Was grandpa a sex craze money man? No. <laughs> okay, get rid of that. Put this one in its frame. I know they can't even see what we're looking at yet. Yeah. But put that that really mm -hmm. good picture that you only get if you're a patron, mm -hmm. but not every <laughs> not patron, every. <laughs> but some of them, the, yeah. a couple, a couple yeah. guys. The ones that follow directions and don't put their address in the comments. Those yeah. are the ones. We've printed out two. <laughs> so at least two, it could be more. It depends how the night goes. We've mixed our best parts together and come out with something, you know, better than the sum of the parts or something. Is that what a collage is supposed to be? I don't know. Because I feel like we're dismantling great sacred pieces of art. Yeah. No, some of these would together. have been better just printed. Have you ever seen like um, 
you know, like the, the slums of like uh, Mexico City, <laughs> where it's like they've taken apart like scrap from different buildings to create like a, a little shed house that they live in. I feel like in a lot of ways, these are awesome pieces of art that we've kind of torn to shreds. We did create something cool for sure. But uh, I feel like the guy that maybe drew this hand is like, what did you do to my, <laughs> you do to my epic hand? Yeah, I, I, it feels almost wrong on some of them. It's like, mm -hmm. this is like a national geographic, like award-winning picture. Yeah. But now it's like, it's at least way more badass. And means nothing in a geopolitical yeah. sense. <laughs> yeah, they, I mean, they basically have zero meaning also like to them, but... The, We've taken the weight yeah. out of out of your photo. Yeah, art doesn't have to mean something. Okay, it should just be visually awesome. <clears throat> we also we did that style of like you know when you're drawing with someone, you're like I'll draw the head, I'll draw the eyes. A lot of back and forth, which is like you know kind of you know I can be controlling at times when like when it's you know something I enjoy doing, but yeah, they're definitely cooler than like most stuff I've done because. Of teamwork so teamwork makes a dream work Pretty not cool. only that but you can also take a lot of the self-doubt out of art where it's like if i do if i do yeah. like a i can a, pass the buck exactly yeah. every piece of these that i'm like i don't like that so much i can be like maybe that was poob's yeah. influence yeah, and you then you can do the same thing i have a problem with a rocket or something i don't know just let me know and okay the rocket, i'm joking no the, the rocket, rocket is awesome okay. the rockets come together there's going you know what i'm gonna go ahead and show it this is uh this is one of them that we worked on. There's been some significant pushback uh, about a rocket coming out of a palm and the trajectory of the rocket. I just wanted it to be more dynamic. But and well, yeah, he kept saying static. It's static. I'm like, dynamically speaking, the dynamics of it are awesome. Uh, here's the other one, guys. This the one. other one is this one we're only going to send out to the virgin CEO sex craze money man. Of, of the patrons. Rejoice. If which is going you. to be all of you. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a very large margin of you. If you're a virgin CEO, yeah, with a lot of money. <laughs> and sex craze. And you like, I don't know, like explosions or something. Yeah. It, do it doesn't have to make sense. Also, this one's already got a frame on it. So you don't even have to frame this one. Pretty nice of us. Although Pretty we nice. do recommend still, if you have some sacred family heirloom photo... That the frame happens to match the dimensions. Or at least the glass. Yeah. Tape the glass <laughs> to this and yeah. then tape that to the wall. These are not to be shown under any sort of UV light. Not to be near a window. They have to be under, they have to be hermetically sealed. Ooh. They have to be away from flash photography. They have to have felt ropes in front of them. But also we spared no expense. <laughs> And the paper is so good, and the ink's so good. It that is acid-free. Um, hey, you could probably sit these out in the fucking yeah. in the trash where you're probably going to put them. I think and they would, they'll never biodegrade. Water-resistant, a little light fire-resistant. They've got a nice... Okay, I think I'm just like... Actually, this one might still be a little wet, but they've got a nice <laughs> stickiness to them. Yeah. Which you don't get a lot. Brian's hair has stuck to Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, them. there's also... Specifically on that one, a little bit of Brian hair. So yeah. if you, Brian, why'd you do that? What? What? And that's where we cut yeah, the Brian. The Brian. That's funny. Yeah, it's gonna be really funny, guys. It's gonna be a really big laugh. I, I hyped up so many times on stream, like really big surprise guest, and people are like, "Oh my god!" Like Zach's coming in, like. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. I might have gone too far. <laughs> you leave tomorrow, and Zach was like, I need to meet him. I know. Yeah. Well, maybe... We well, were so well, lackadaisical, like, the first day, and then, like, all of a sudden, we we're like, oh, shit, you leave tomorrow. Like, we need to... Today, I feel like we really did some theory crafting. We really really did some work on yeah, those collages. I know. I, yeah. I mean, I tinkered all night trying to get this <laughs> to look like something. This rocket. Not that rocket, but, uh, yeah, I feel bad for your brother. Maybe on the way back, I'll... We'll work something out. Yeah. Uh, he sounds really awesome. He's probably watching this really sad. I didn't get to meet you. Like, wow, I bet you they were working so hard. We were watching <laughs> fucking movies and shit. Well, when they <laughs> see these, they'll know that they took it. They were inspired by the, the media of which we were consuming at the time. That one's They Live, and this one's Blazing Saddles. Yep. And a little bit of Workaholics in there. <laughs> yeah. Eh. Um. Pretty lady. I, I don't think oh. it is honestly kind of crazy. Like these took 
so much longer than I thought they would. Uh, a lot of iterations. And like only like what 50 people are going to get them, but they're awesome. Like maybe we'll upload the file somewhere and you can like print it out yourself or I don't something. I fucking give a shit, dude. Okay, I'm well, hanging these enough. up on yeah. my own wall. Yeah, I we, don't care if, if 12 people get them. I'm getting two. We, you can have two if you want. I would, I'm, I'm I, I would like to, yeah. yeah. I would, or I have the same printer. I could just print them out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah just send that, me the file. Yeah. Um, but yes, I'll, I'll, I can make the file available. Yeah, that's yeah, a good idea. Picture. That's yeah. a good idea. Like Boom. the mod list. Yeah, bam. Boom. And just know that we tried really hard. We so did. even if you don't like it, don't mention it. If you see a part you don't like, don't, just don't bring it up. Yeah. If you see like a rocket coming out of a hand and it's like basically the most important part of your life and you think that's incredible. Don't even talk you can, about you it. You can comment <laughs> don't that bring and that say up. like that rocket really ties the whole thing together. It and pops. if you think it's uh, if you think it's hacky and shit, um, I never, <laughs> I never <laughs> use those words. Uh, I use those words in my own mind when I put it together. Okay, but you know, any piece with a small alien getting hunted down by a skeleton man with a big three fifty seven magnum. It's awesome. I mean, it's just it needs a rocket going through a hand. Okay, we could go really deep into the process. The process was excruciating. The process is basically. But- one of us sitting in the chair, the other one sitting in the exact same chair, one foot higher because yep. it's like a stool chair, and going like, mm, oh, "You're <laughs> fucking it up!" <laughs> Biting my nails a lot, yeah. yeah. And then, and then Poop would uh, he would do collaging for about thirty minutes, and he'd be like, oh, "I gotta get up and pee," and he would pee, think he's gone for thirty minutes, be like, "Okay, my turn again." You wouldn't pee oh, for four no, seconds. Well, it was the pee wasn't a break. break. Yeah, it's just me. But also, it's like, I'm trying to be nice. You know, it's like, I think you want to turn. Yeah, I do want to turn. Oh. And then you'd come out and snatch it back from me because you were like having feverish nightmares about that rocket staying no, in the it's, final. No, it's when you're in the flow state. When you're in the <laughs> flow state, it's like you're halfway through building something. You don't want someone else to come up, snatch up your plans. And, and put a rocket it. in it. But also, yeah. <laughs> also, it's like the whole point of this, which I had to like remind myself. It's like, it's not going to look like it, you know, you would think it would. It's going to look better yeah. because we, because we compromised and uh, we're dynamic. Compromise. That's the most important part of any relationship. Yeah. Platonic or otherwise. Yeah. Partnership. Partnership. Compromise. Yeah. And being really, really giving in bed. I yeah. I think is also really important for every relationship in life. Yeah. We haven't talked about jerking off <laughs> or movies. We can talk about both that we've done while I've been here. Yeah. Uh, I blew like a fat load on that air mattress. <laughs> Uh, no, I haven't jerked off in a while, and it's starting to like kind of. It's eating me alive. Yeah, it's it's. Ir- <laughs> I just saw what this looks like. It's <laughs> irking me a little, um, but I'm doing all right. It, especially working on like a horny collage. Wow, it probably helped me yeah. channel that. <laughs> we did watch movies, kind of. They live awesome. Okay, I'm gonna say we had two movie choices for this. Eh, I didn't really get to play the movie I wanted either time. Really, what I want to watch is they came together, but that's not. You've already seen it though. I've already seen a lot of movies, you know, but it's not about me seeing it. About I want. I wanted to have. I honestly, I like telling people to watch a movie. I hate showing someone a movie that I've already seen. Because <clears throat> like, what you're scared they're not gonna laugh or. No, I. I don't. I don't like the feeling of watching a movie and someone's like, what is something funny is about it? You know, I, I don't like that, that like they already know. I like that. We watched, they live. We had both never seen it. Yeah. And it was just like, that just happened, which that was. Multiple yeah. That's times a better like, yeah. And you hadn't seen blazing with the two movies. Yeah, you I have where seen blazing glories. That's the whole thing. Blazing like, Saddles. You said you hadn't watched blazing it since, like, since I was 10. like, yeah, like 10 or 12. Yeah. Like Your dad 14. let you watch that had the N word in it so many times. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We're, we just really like that director or yeah. something. Uh, <laughs> you know, I love Spaceballs and Young Frankenstein too. Well, I'm gonna say it right here. Between the two, I didn't care for Blazing Saddles That's... nearly as much. I thought They Live, oddly enough, was a funnier movie. I laughed more at They Live than I did at That's Blazing fair. Saddles. It's not even a comedy. Uh, I don't know if that's fair, really, but I mean, they live had a lot of like un- unintentionally funny, too, where it's like, what are they? They're just like people watching each other for like 40 minutes in a row. Like, it really had a it's r- like, way too slow of a buildup to like <laughs> yeah. the ending. And There's then a the, lot of voyeurism for sure. Yeah. 
big payoffs with like the 20 minute fight scene. Yeah. Big payoffs with. I like how the fight scene ended. The one And then they, uh, there's like a breather for like 45 seconds and then they just erupt back into it. And, and then like, there's so many parts in that movie where like a character is so gung ho, like, no, 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 I'm never going to do this. I'll never. And then like five seconds later, they are the most committed to the cause I've ever <laughs> seen. Like there's very little. Well, once you segue into like, they're just like extreme to extreme. Yeah. But it's, well, it's also kind of, I mean, what I, happened I like in the between movie. the two I mean, from the point of him, not, but he was doing... so like, I will, you're going to have to kill me if you want me to put on these sunglasses, which is already like a weird hill to die on. Yeah. Granted, Roddy Piper is like a crazy person. <laughs> so it's like, he did not do a good job. And at job. that moment where he's forcing the sunglasses on, he knows he's murdered some people. Yeah, I think. Yeah, but they're not people. Okay, you got to believe Roddy Piper. Uh, fitness hero for me, by the way. Hey, yeah. love Roddy Piper in that movie. Dude, you look like you have insane lats right now because of the way your arms <laughs> My are. spread? Yeah. Hey, guys, the lettuce here. Yeah. V shape. I, if I push it back a little, it gets a little tighter. Uh, for the people that are wondering, why isn't it zipped? Oh, yeah, the, I forget there's also like audio listeners that are like yeah. what, what are they even if you're listening on the audio side poop just looks normal yeah okay how you'd picture <laughs> <laughs> how you'd imagine and how you'd picture and how you'd see me in public <laughs> it looks just like you normally see him no difference for the video watchers i am not the one that broke the zipper on that okay if you think it's been unzipped that was somebody else and also not me because that kind of <laughs> insinuates i broke yeah i just saw it and was like that's cool Willard broke it. Okay. Yeah, Willard, Willard was too it. fat for the fucking muscle suit, and he broke the zipper. It wasn't me. <laughs> I'm squeezed right in. Yeah, no, no tension. No, it's a, it's just nice. It's just like a nice, I don't know, like, like daydream of like, well, I could. <laughs> Feels good. Yeah. Uh, but so basically, you hated Blazing Saddles. I didn't fucking. I didn't hate it. It's just like you hated it. It, it's, it's I would never watch well, it again. It's, and it's, also, it's like a very 70s. Like, yeah. it's ahead of its time, too. For like, really? Because it seems so dated. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I'm not going to sit here. It's not like my favorite movie ever, <laughs> but I've got, you know, some love for it. Yeah. I there are still think it's stupid because it's like I have seen Blazing Saddles. You know, I remember some big parts like we we reference them a lot. My family, not those parts, you know, like the yeah. other parts. Um, And. I just, I feel like I've been talking about they came together for like five years. And I just want, I just know you'll never watch it. So it's like, it's like a captive audience thing. Like, yeah. I just want you to like, maybe get so high. You're like, whatever. You mean one hour from now? Yeah. One hour from now. <laughs> well, I literally was looking up. They, he was like, here, put on whatever. I typed they, and he's like, oh, they live. Look, yeah. it's right there. Let's watch that. I'm like. We've, you've never seen it. I've never there's seen a, it. There's a million that movies I haven't seen. Like you can just be like, oh, rock. look, that, Balto. Like, I had always heard that movie rocked. I'd it never did seen rock. It. I'm glad I watched it. I thought it was awesome. But I'm glad I watched it. Yeah. Also. Also, it's. Uh, I mean, it's why I I'm feel like that movie could very so easily ripped. be weaponized to be like uh, anti-Jewish propaganda. Oh yeah. Maybe. How yeah. has that movie not been picked up by like right-wing circles? I, this has nothing to do with what you're saying, but I, I just made me remember like the funniest part of the movie to me is like, if you don't know anything about the movie, he like puts on these sunglasses and you can see the real world and like the sh propaganda there, you know, like what aliens or like, it's, it's not some even sort of like really. alien race is like making us consumer slaves. Yeah. And like, yeah. No, it's and insane, he has like special sunglasses yeah. that lets him see that some people aren't who they think Suspend they are. Spend your, you know, yeah. your like all the news anchors know. are these pod people. Yeah, random civilian. There's not many of them. I would say like, it's like a decent amount. Like in some, well, that was the weird thing too. Is like in some stores, they're like half the people. Yeah, and then he's like. Hey, you're a fucking alien. I'm like, dude, like, pipe down, <laughs> Piper. Like, you, w you're just letting everyone know that you can see them. Imagine a world, guys, where you find sunglasses, you put them on. Some people look like aliens. Yeah. You're, I feel like a lot of the issues in this movie and a lot of Roddy Piper's 
tr- troubles that he goes through yeah. could be solved with just him stopping for five fucking seconds and going, what would be the better yeah. play? He puts on the glasses and he's just like, you fucking alien yeah. bitch. Yeah, you're, you're ugly. ugly you look different than other people when I wear these sunglasses. <laughs> Don't try to find these. Got one that can see. Yeah, he's, he's not subtle at all, which is kind of awesome because yeah. he's just like a drifter, dude. That's just kind of like. He's kind of a reason. He's a drifter. Yeah. His only way of talking is through like awesome one-liners. Yeah. I can see why he's not married. I can (laughs) see why he doesn't have kids and that. Uh, But at one point, like the funniest part to me is like they're showing all these subliminal messages and it's like obey, like breed and reproduce. And then one of them just says sleep eight hours. (laughs) What do they do? Like, is that too much? Is that too little? Like they don't really. Because then they mention later, like they want you to sleep. They want you to be asleep yeah. all the time. Like, isn't eight hours like a normal <laughs> amount? No, yeah. Why doesn't it say sleep 20 hours? Well, that's how you know that Andrew Huberman and Jordan Peterson are actually aliens. Yeah. <laughs> They're actually... Drink water. <laughs> yeah. We were talking drink about, drink like, a lot of water. Just like good tips. Yeah. yeah. On there, like reproduce. Exfoliate. Yeah. Get laid. Sleep eight hours. <laughs> apply sunscreen. <Yeah. laughs> buy cool stuff. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't see the problem except for it's just like... They're taking care of us. Yeah. yeah. It's just all bl- the world's black and white when you put them on too. Which it's like yeah. right away, it's like a matrix problem. Yeah, and I'm not saying I'd be like a villain in this world, but if I were Roddy Piper, I would have snapped those glasses immediately and mm-hmm. just been like, "What can I do?" Granted, there's literally one satellite pumping out, I guess, the whole uh. world's amount of pod people signal, and he does destroy it pretty easily. You know, and he shoots it at the end. I think, uh, <clears throat> like, I guess it, it wouldn't be that hard to save the world if yeah. you knew it. It's not like a crazy, he just shoots it with a gun. It is uh, the journey to get to the crescendo, Roddy Piper saving the world, is so sudden, it is insane. There's, Roddy Piper, by the way, plays like a Rambo type. He like yeah. walks into town with a fucking backpack. Potential war vet. Yeah. He doesn't communicate in any sort of conversation. He's only, if you guys haven't seen the movie and have no idea what we're talking about, you've heard this before where a guy walks into a bank and goes like, um, I'm here to chew bubble gum and kick ass and I'm all out of bubble gum. It's from that movie. I thought that was from like Duke Nukem or something. Is I think he, Duke like Nukem quoting? got it from, because oh, okay. this movie came out in like the early 80s, way before Duke Nukem. So it's that it's stupid, that movie. Stupid. <laughs> it's that movie. Yeah. And in the beginning, he's like part of some homeless camp. And there's like this other homeless guy that's <laughs> always just messing with the TV. He's like, yeah. the damn signal ain't working. What the hell's going on? Near the <clears throat> end of the movie, he's just been running around with these sunglasses going like, look at everybody's aliens. He runs into this, that, that homeless guy again, the guy that was fiddling yeah. with the TV. And he has like a tuxedo on. And he's like, oh, hey, guys. I see you've joined the movement. It's much better with them. Like he's joined the bad guys. And they've given him a suit for some reason and shown him in one day everything. He- yeah, there's a couple of those like jumps. And then like Roddy Piper and Keith David are like, do we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't even, I don't even think they talk. They're they like, don't even talk. He's like, just like, oh, you're the new recruits. I'll show you around. Yeah. He's like, he went from homeless guy yeah. 24 hours ago to having a suit that's like tailored to him. Yeah. He's looking good. He does. And yeah. he knows everything about their operation. He just leads Roddy Piper, who hasn't said a fucking word. He's just like, this is the big signal <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah, you want to see the master signal? <laughs> okay. This is the big kill switch that you yeah. throw right here if you want to undo everything. And, of course, Roddy Piper, being the badass he is, uh, he shoots it with a gun. <laughs> you know, he goes up to the roof later. Yeah. yeah. And they, I got a little lost at a point. I mean, I was yeah, pretty high. <laughs> but uh, I don't this know. Like, this movie isn't so, like, one that you need. Like, This isn't a memento where yeah. you're like, let's study this film. It's he like fucking a, shoots a signal a, with a gun. <laughs> a girl shoots Keith David at some point, like out of nowhere. Yeah. And she's a traitor. Off screen. And then she gets shot in an awesome way because she's like, <laughs> like the funniest yeah. fall back. Dude, John Carpenter had to have had a different take than that. <laughs> and just chose. This nah. lady looks like they her knees were hinges <laughs> and she just falls back like a cardboard cutout. She got hit in the head with a hammer or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. she she looks like it she's looks like dying. A, it looked like a death from blazing saddles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah. And then Blazing Saddles, they said the N-word way too much for my taste. At least two times too many. 
I, you know, I like Gene Wilder. <laughs> <laughs> I like the other main guy. I like uh, Mondo a lot. Yeah, Mondo. Uh, 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 awesome. oh, quit all that other shit. Mondo's coming. <laughs> I think Mondo's hilarious. <laughs> Mondo uh, rocks. Also, just like as a kid all the time, I'd be like, Mondo like candy. I'm like, I don't even really know. I, di- I didn't even, I didn't know what a candy gram was. I thought that in itself was a joke. <laughs> Is that like a real thing people did? Like A candy gram? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah the well. same thing with like edible arrangements. That's like the same thing. They just bring like little candy thing to, I don't know. <laughs> Flower gram for yeah. Mongo. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely <laughs> not as funny as when I was 10, but also... Why can't I think of that? Who's the director of that? Why can't I? Mel remember? Brooks. Yeah, Mel Brooks. He, had, he gave himself the worst role in the movie. He plays oh, like he got a, two roles. The le- oh, yeah, yeah, he it, plays a, a Native American. Yeah, and he plays like this governor. That's he, he, just, just an incompetent governor. Incompetent. Always has his eyes crossed and his tongue out. Ooh, kind of awesome. <laughs> Gets some motorboat. Yeah, yeah, this hot chick. Yeah. The um, I don't even know what his position is, but uh, Headley. Awesome. Yeah, Headley Lamar. Yeah, that guy rocked. Yeah, he's hands down the the best best part of that movie. Yeah. Well, him and Gene Wilder. Sam gave me the option of that. Three Amigos or Young Frankenstein, which I've seen all of them. Yeah. But he won't let me watch. They came together, and um, I'm gonna watch it tonight. Yeah, uh, you know? it's gonna. <laughs> It's gonna be like the worst thing ever because I've like hyped it up for years. And you're gonna watch it and be like, "This this is worse than Blazing Saddles." It's uh, definitely like that parody of humor. So, whatever. I might just not show them. Uh, just complain until yeah, kind of goes away. Abby has been an absolute dream. She's just yeah. been taking care of the kids. Made me seem like kind of a deadbeat dad. Because she's like, oh, poop's here, so you're, like, working. So she's taking care of everything, and there's, like, a couple moments where I'm like, oh, Olivia, you need help. And she's like, get out of here, and she's like, pushes me away. And so Poop's like, God, do you do anything around here? And also, yeah, I'm like, you're always talking about she's such a bitch and so, like, mean and unfunny. I'm like, actually very pleasant, very funny. <laughs> uh, you know, great family don't dynamics. Ru- <laughs> don't ruin her fucking persona I've built yeah. up for her. I mean, she's definitely, like, if she yelled at me, I'd be really scared. <laughs> Uh, but luckily, I'm a guest, so that hasn't happened yet. Yeah. yeah. So, no, uh, there was a moment where she was like, Poop said that he was going to play I Spy with us, and the girls are kind uh, of yeah. getting Oh, yeah, I upset. fucked up so and big you, the, you didn't play the first I night because I didn't. They were like putting the kids to bed with books. And yeah. like All I, I want to say is Bizzle read books to each of the kids and tucked them in, and you uh, hid down here photoshopping confessions of a sex-crazed money man. It's the, the, they're used to just a little bit more handle and care, you know? I felt very scared when I got here because, you know, all of a sudden your family became very real. I'm like, oh, this is like, okay, I'm like around little kids and stuff. Like I have to, you know, not cuss like a sailor, like drink too much and get crazy (laughs) or whatever. And I didn't even know how to talk to them at first because they're all like bashful and shy. I'm just like, what's up? Like, what do you guys like to do? And uh, and then so I was pretty shocked at night when they're like, come on, you can come read I Spy with us. I'm like, oh, it's just like a charity invite. Turns out like I really fucked up because they were like, yeah. where is he? Where they're is upset. he? And I like I Spy too. So like I was a little upset. And Sam's daughter drew me a really nice picture. And then I just like kind of spit in their face because <laughs> like, I didn't go read I Spy. Um I went up there today and I played I Spy. It's actually, re- they do it really fast. <laughs> One page, which is like a total cop out. They, uh, we have like six books. They've memorized probably like four pages per book. They didn't give me a chance. <laughs> yeah. to find a, you go, where's the bear? There. Okay. <laughs> well, this sucks. Yeah. And I know I didn't play the other day because you guys are cheaters. If you guys remember I Spy, I always, I remembered the highlights. Like, damn, there's some good ones. Going back, like I found all my I spies. My mom had them in her house, like hidden in a closet. And so I have like five or six I spy books from my childhood. There's a lot of stinkers in there. The premise is great, by the way. It's basically where's Waldo, but this guy takes photos of like just like a bunch of toys. And he usually they have like themes to them, like maybe like an army man. It's a lot of work battle. per page. Yeah, like, it is. Yeah. Incredible setup. But some of them are absolutely awesome. Some he phoned in. It's like, come on, the, the, the treasure shop window where you're looking through like a store window. Fuck you. That's like the worst 
get goddamn real. pay. Get, <laughs> get real. My kids hate that one. Yeah, that one well, stinks. I didn't even really like the cookie one we played. The cookie tonight. one stinks as well. They just like it because there's cookies on it. Yeah. Okay. Well. The best ones. There's a couple of them that are. It's from like School Days or whatever. That that book where it looks like I imagine the kids' room. Woody's or not Woody, uh, Andy's room from Toy Story. Oh, yeah, it's just like pine floor, little chair, little toys everywhere. <laughs> the little kid named Andy, yep, in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Those are awesome, but they don't like playing a page unless they just know where every fucking thing is right off the bat. <sighs> There's no searching that they like doing. Yeah, they don't really, they don't like the journey, just the destination. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not a lot of. Not a lot of fun to play with them. <laughs> but, uh, whatever, they're nice kids or whatever. They're fine. <laughs> they're cool. They're cool. They call me Mr. Pooh, which is really weird <laughs> to hear out loud. It's very jolting to hear yourself be called Mr. Pooh. Especially just, since I had to correct Olivia a thousand times. Like, not yeah, Mr. Poop. poop. Yeah, they could yeah. call me Pooh. And I was, there's a B on on the end of that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's about to be a beat on the end of that <laughs> if you keep calling me Poop. Uh, I'm going to go grab a beer real quick. Okay. I don't know if Brian wants to take over and talk a little bit while I go grab one. Do sure. You want? Uh, I'll go piss while Brian talks. Okay. And I'll take a beer. I'll grab my Sweet. Own. No, I'll grab you a beer. <laughs> Have you seen that uh, Jake Paul's going to fight Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson. Yep. What a fucking dumbass idea, <laughs> I think. It's... It's a lose-lose scenario, yeah. I think, in all ways. I'll be so sad if Mike Tyson gets hit, like, really hard and yeah. just goes down or something. Uh, I mean, that's, how old is he? That, okay, that's my exact point. Is If he wins, if Jake Paul wins, he just beat up a 60-year-old man and basically one of the people that everybody loves, you know? Mike Tyson has had Not an awesome <laughs> yeah. like, uh, character journey. And then if he loses, he got his ass beat by a sixty-year-old man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's no, there's no winning. But also, if he loses, everyone will be like, "It's Mike Tyson." Yeah, What'd it's Mike expect? Tyson. Yeah. Well, a twenty-five-year-old dude should be that's uh, considers himself a boxer should be able to fuck up a guy thirty-five year, years older than him. I would think. Yeah, but it's weird when you're dealing with like a guy's prolific it's Mike Tyson it's Mike Tyson because then it's like watch him do one of those like 40 second rounds again you know where he just goes in and just be, I mean if we can knock his head up. off <laughs> yeah prime Mike Tyson shows up for like one round just kills <laughs> kills Logan, him Jake Paul Logan tears whichever his ear off yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want more I want more gets the neck oh my, my gizzard I mean that would be the best case scenario yeah worst case scenario somehow Mike Tyson dies <laughs> Jake Paul eats his ear off. Something that just like have totally seen, ruins his legacy. Have you seen Mike Tyson on his podcast? Like how the amount of shrooms he takes? No. no. <laughs> That's so scary on a podcast. The amount of shrooms he takes, he take he, he his tolerance is so high. Yeah. Which what is it? Like a week or two for psilocybin to get out of your system? The, he takes it so often. He just grabs like a handful and he's just like, <laughs> he eats it just like he's it's eating like cauliflower. Just, yeah, yeah. He just chews on it. That's the amount that he took awesome. would be double what it took to break my mind on the Idaho trip. I think it's, it was an insane amount. Well, he's three times the man. So is, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. He's got some inner demons to fight. I've, I, there's no, there's no point even bringing this up because I don't remember any of it, but I was going to say like, I remember I've talked about this before, but when I was in high school, I worked a really boring, like, uh, pool slide job where it's a go, go, you know, one yeah. of those fuckers. And the place sucks so bad, like, people really didn't go there. So you're able to, you weren't able to be on your phone, but you're able to read books. And they had, like, five books for you to read. I read a massive Mike Tyson autobiography that I'm pretty sure his wife wrote or something. Yeah. Um, and then a Ronda Rousey autobiography. Weirdly sad lives on. Both of them, you know, but the Mike Tyson one was, uh, he's been through it. He is pigeons. Like bullies killed all his pigeons. And that's pigeon. like all he had. His daughter got killed on a treadmill. Oh accident. yeah. Well the pigeons and yeah, the daughter, um, uh, I guess that's probably way worse. Yeah. Uh, but the pigeons seemed to really like, it was like a 
big part of the book. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember the daughter thing much. 40 pages dedicated <laughs> to pigeons. Pigeon number one, head ripped clean off. Body thrown against the wall. Pigeon number two, swallowed whole. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, he, he deserves a win. I think so. I think so. You think he's going to be on shrooms during the fight? <laughs> I don't kill Jake Paul for real. That, that, uh, that moment that wasn't recorded during the hike but there was a moment in between me laying on the ground laughing at you and then me basically being passed out in the tent where bizzle had initially put me in the tent and yeah. you were scared to go in there because i was going crazy mm-hmm. i hope he's in that stage <laughs> of just complete psychotic behavior mm. and then gets and then enters into the ring <laughs> and someone primes him with a punch to the nose like his coach just goes like get mad that Hits guy's him. the enemy <laughs> kill <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, uh, we talked about this yesterday. I mean, we probably talked about it so extensively, but how scary <laughs> that was on the hiking trip when you were out of your fucking mind. And yeah, Bizzle's like, if you don't go in that tent, you're going to freeze to death. And I'm like, oh my God. I and then I, go in there. I look in there and Sam's just like, ah. And like, for like an hour before we took him, I'm like, I don't like to be on camera when I'm on him. And when I went in the tent, Sam had gotten to the point where he's nonverbal, laying down. With just he didn't have an eye. He just had a huge camera lens, and he was like becoming a camcorder in the corner, <laughs> like just Blair Witch filming me. And I kept being like, uh, "Maybe we should like shouldn't have that." And Sam's, uh, and he couldn't even speak at that point. <laughs> that, was, that was completely he was living through the camera. Uh, that was awesome, though. I mean, that was a, it was awful, but it was also ultimately awesome. Yeah. What can you I, say? I also had good that, times. I also had that same feeling. There's a um. Definitely a moment in the uh, in the beginning where it, it was complete bliss and I felt like at peace with the world, and then uh, and then I went into the tent and there was no longer any external stimuli of like the nature. Yeah. And uh, and then all of a sudden the thoughts turned. They were introspective, which is never good. It was <laughs> never. sweet. I remember even in your like almost psychosis, you're like, "Where's Abby and the kids? Like, are they good or whatever?" I'm like, Jesus Christ! Like, do you know where you are? <laughs> But you were you were still worried about your family. That's all I cared about in that moment. That's really sweet. Yeah. It is weird seeing you as like <laughs> well, I don't want to <laughs> dissolve any, you know, status you've built up on the internet, but uh just like a normal family guy uh type. Oh no, when no, we go no, 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 uh, Yeah. Yeah, he's like a Chris. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> we go upstairs. Just like the way I feel down here is like a Cretan, like that's just brought here to build collages <laughs> in some sort of assembly line. And then you go upstairs and it's like, holy shit, I'm like in a real household with like a family. Yeah. Abby's wearing an apron. Yeah. <laughs> really Kids good, are running really around. Good food. He's not While you were down that. here earlier, when I first went up to cook, me and the kids were having squirt gun fights on the back porch. Yeah. You missed out on that. Uh, you probably heard some screaming. We all teamed up. I convinced them to just shoot Abby in the face while she was trying to rest. She's been... <clears throat> basically 100% dealing with the kids because she's like, oh, Poop's here. Yeah. You know, and so she took that moment of dad's playing with the kids with the squirt guns. I'll go rest. <laughs> no, we fucking boondock saints her. We just sat there. Yeah. Pew, 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 unloaded on her with squirt guns. Fun I stuff. Fun stuff. feel bad for her. Yeah, after being here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just awful. And it's usually just... at the end of the day, then I have sex with her. So like... <laughs> Days Christ, yeah, shitty. like it gets worse. It keeps getting worse. When the sun goes down, she's nowhere to be seen. Uh, yeah, it's creepy. Yeah. It's really creepy here. As soon as she puts the kids to bed, all of a sudden she's like, "I gotta go find a place to hide." Yeah. she goes and hides somewhere. Also, Sam does this weird like, "All right, kids, nighttime snaps." They just both like split up, go into their own rooms, straight to bed. Yeah, and it's really, it's really weird to see. Um, but. Other than that, beautiful home, pretty <laughs> shitty uh, wallpaper in the bathroom. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> which, which bathroom? Every uh, every all bathroom? Of them. Yeah, all, all the of bathrooms. Them. Uh, yeah. Shitty microwave. Don't ask to see it. Um, <laughs> beautiful location. You can see right out the window. You can see blank. Uh, it's cool. The Capitol cool. building is what he was going to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We see the Capitol building, Dote Campbell Stadium, right out my back porch. Orlando's not far from the yeah. back porch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if, if – I know you've heard what happened to Wilbur Soot, but do you want to talk about that on the podcast? 
I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't. I know of him from when he was in Soothouse. You know, he came. I don't even really know what Soothouse is, but he, I remember he came in the Discord a couple times. Yeah. I think after he'd been on the podcast, I th- played like some game, like a big group of people. So if you guys don't remember Wilbur Soot, he was possibly my second guest. He was the second guest on the podcast, and he was a uh, pretty big, pretty big uh, like Minecraft YouTuber. <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh, sorry. When I'm talking, it's been happening a lot. Bless you. Gone. Bless you. Ugh. If you guys are wondering what his ab workout is, that's what it is. He comes down south. Hundred sneezes, a thousand giggles. <laughs> yeah. He, he Ten gets, tickles. He gets per, pollen per all up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the more I slouch, the more it just looks like not like. It looks like weird. It was a minute ago where your pecs were just like tits that were hanging down into a bowl uh, made by your abs. I'm compensating for something. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, but you were talking about a controversy. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Wilbur Soot was like the second guest on the podcast. He's, he's known from, at the time, for being in Soot House. Then he was like a huge Minecraft guy. Mm-hmm. And at the time, I've talked about this, like, there would be times where he would tweet and I would see Donald Trump's tweets and his tweets would be outperforming the president of the United States tweets, which was insane to me. It's a hard lead to lose. Yeah. yeah that's a- <laughs> and, uh, and, and around that time he stopped talking to me <laughs> when yeah. he was, when he was like super big. But then yeah. since then yeah. he then became like a musician. Like, well, oh, yeah. 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 He has like actually like, you like, know, are they good? Uh, well, it doesn't. It's who's to tell. Well, I'm not who's like a, tell, yeah. I'm not like a 13 year old girl, so it's not gonna be something I listen to. Although I listen to a lot of Taylor sad Swift girl, sad and, girl yeah. playlist on Spotify. It's like the only thing we've listened to. Yeah, it's a lot of it beach keeps, house, a lot of Grimes. It keeps auto playing because I love it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, you ha- it's like a cue. I saw the like next in queue. It's like 20 hours of 20 hours of sad girl like like <laughs> depressed bitch yeah. playlist. Dude, yeah. I'm sorry. If you guys don't like Beach House. Okay? I like Beach House. Enough. <laughs> Enough, <laughs> you know, yeah. I like the... Cigarettes after sex. Like, it's such, like, just sad girl music, but I, I listen to it all Do you day. get in that mood when you listen to it? Or are you like... Am I a sad girl on the inside? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. And uh, I feel like, you know, if I'm hanging out with you, I just need to be a little sad girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> Anyways, so we'll be so it, yeah. Uh, then, uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> well, when I look over here and I see it, I'm like, it looks like I'm on some weird documentary. <laughs> I need to shape up and be like more professional. <laughs> uh huh. Go on. Go on. I'd like to talk with the colleague. Go <laughs> on. What we're stood as since, uh, I th- honestly, I think he started dating some like girl that was also a Minecraft streamer. Well, it makes it. They roll in big circles. They, yeah. of, you know. And uh, then they broke up. And she has come out with a huge cancellation against him, like because he. This is honestly one of the funnier ways to get canceled. He bit her a lot in their relationship. Yeah, I saw that. He's bitey, and she even after employing a safe word, apparently she came up with a safe word, which is already cur- like step one. Like maybe I'm biting too much. <laughs> Someone's like, hey, I gotta maybe say like, ouch, like yow. Well, if, apparently, if it hurts too apparently bad. screaming like. That's Tom and we- Jerry style. Yeah. Yo! Doesn't work. It'd probably get some harder. But, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So she had to implement a safe word, and Wilbur said, <laughs> no. <laughs> Wilbur said, yeah, I'm going to keep nibbling. Harder? Huh? More? <laughs> with the canines. Okay, with the canines now. I actually know so little about this. Like, I can't add too much, but yeah, it is funny that he yeah. bit a girl so hard. He basically <laughs> knocked well, her they, leg off. I actually, <laughs> so I, I studied it. Okay. Extensively. Okay. And by extensively, I took a shit for 20 minutes earlier. Remember, I was gone for like 20 minutes yep. pooping. Look through the comments. <laughs> I, I sat there and was just like, why exactly did he get canceled? Okay. He was bitey. And she was like, can you stop? And he was like, no. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. keep biting you. It's kind of like an innocuous. <laughs> it's just like a weird... And it's so what okay, so this is there's been some problems here. If if you're a serial biter, one thing and also an, a very popular streamer, I think it's very important for you not to date 
a streamer that has a platform. I think you should probably date a nobody. You should be going to whorehouses. Yeah. Getting $20 hookers that you can bite, you know, to your heart's content. For example, I could be the bitiest motherfucker to Abby. And if we ever got a divorce, like, she has no real avenue. <laughs> this is scary advice. <laughs> okay. You want to get away with it? See, well, it looked like I'm on, like, confessions with a biter or something, the way the camera quality is. If you is. guys are serial biters and abusers. Wait. Don't have a spouse that has a big fucking microphone that can, because there's nothing worse than a scorned woman. Okay, or take their ability to speak when yeah. you leave them. <laughs> yeah, I think honestly, bite her I'm, lips off. I'm honestly with the like, have her wear a silicone suit, just gnaw on it. Like I wouldn't feel a thing. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't. Well, actually, pinch hard. No. <laughs> okay, safe word. Double safe word. I've studied first. I heard the biting. Okay, okay. and then I looked. At, I was doing close-ups of Wilbur on Google Images, zooming it in, looking at the chompers. Yeah. You know, did he have good biters or yeah. not? Those teeth aren't capable of cutting through those pecs and they're, getting to the flesh underneath. But they're, do, they're British. He teeth, does right? small nibbles. He seems like a small nibbler. <laughs> Just like off the entire body. Yeah. He seems like he would... It's like, like death like, by a thousand cuts. Is when a dog a tries sword? to de-flee something and they go like, oh, like yeah. they're eating corn. I feel like that's his biting style. You'd have to probably ask him <laughs> to know exactly. Uh, I think... Have you seen Wallace and Gromit? How big of a cheese bite they can take? <laughs> yeah, pretty scary. Um, I don't think he would respond to a message, but I'm going to ask him, bite style? <laughs> <laughs> what kind... Yeah, You what, know how you could do that more subtly? Be like, here, take a bite of this pizza yeah. and then measure it out. Be like... Because I've noticed sometimes I'll take a bite of something and I look at it, I'm like, Jesus Christ, it looks like a little girl, like, bit into it. Oh, yeah. It's like a little tiny Well, the, p- the difference is that you eat pizza in a very different way than you would bite a woman. So I'd hand him pizza and I say, imagine this is a woman. Yeah. <laughs> imagine <laughs> you're doing your thing on her. And she, <laughs> yeah. oh, just tell me. Just tell me. You know, let's cut the chase. Yeah. Yeah, that is interesting, kind of. That's like the worst. <laughs> <Not really. laughs> yeah. Why does he bite? So is he... This is the worst thing to get canceled for, I feel like. Because yeah. no, now, he, now he's like, he's not even just horny. He's a deviant. He's a horny deviant. And it's not even like, yeah. Like, and he's and he, not even He's coming. not like getting like suctioned <laughs> into a cube or something <laughs> and like hitting him. He's just like, probably like really. I mean, have you ever been bit? It does hurt. It, like, it hurts like a. Son of a bitch, yeah. Yeah, like if someone bit you really hard, that'd be pretty brutal. Uh, <laughs> so, Especially if you're screaming a safe word. Yeah, yeah. And they're I mean, like... <laughs> it would take about half a second after I was like, ow, and a person's still biting for me to be like, holy fuck, like, something's not right here, you know, this is not good. Uh, yeah, I guess I get your point a little. <laughs> Don't talk to powerful women. <laughs> Keep them in the shadows. That way, when you do inevitably something bad, something yes, horrific, yes, something it that, can't come that and can, bite you in the ass, ruin your life. It but it, your like, life. also, do you think though it's gonna be one of those things where in like three months he's just back and everyone's like, oh, welcome back? Uh, no, no, I don't because oh. we've spoken about this before. He is cultivated an audience oh of like he's got of such people a... that are so like knee jerk to cancel somebody over any slight thing or just like, like remember they, tommy they, in it they yeah tommy in it is a such a young guy and well, he I... was he was asking questions like about trans people because he didn't understand and he said something that was like not politically correct but it wasn't intended to be like, he was genuinely, you could tell, like, I'm trying to learn here. Yeah. And almost canceled. Like, there was but people, what is like... almost canceled? Like, nothing. A lot of people upset and being like, he was out of line! I just feel like when you're that big, like, it's so easy to just fucking bounce back. Like, I see so many That's people true, where, yeah. like, months ago on Twitter, everyone was up in arms. And then they just wait and do, like, a light rebrand, one apology. Most of the time, they're back. Yeah. That big of an audience, like... Yeah, he's built his brand on like I'm Wilbur. The have you guy. seen his apology? No, his, uh, his apology was like, "Oh, I thought she was into that shit." <laughs> <laughs> she was screaming. I think good when yeah. she comes yeah, up with yeah. a safe word. I figured that's her. <laughs> yeah, she's condoning. She's, she's, yeah, she's starting to get into it. Yeah. <laughs> she's coming up with safe words on her I own. I didn't even that's just that. so fucking crazy. Like, yeah. he, I don't know. <laughs> And also, yeah, I don't want to sit here and be like, I'm not a deviant at all. And then one day it's like, look at this guy. He like bites her toes off. <laughs> but 
I don't know. It seems really easy for someone's like, ouch, <laughs> ow, <laughs> ow, stop, stop. Even when people are like, choke me, I'm like, oh god, like are you should like really? Like, Do you mean like yeah. playful? <laughs> like Homer, Homer. playful, yeah. or are we talking like C and C here? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's just a weird. <sighs> it's a it's, fine line. It's you know what it is. It's all about communication. It's all it about is. communication. Maybe if they communicated better, yeah. He well, maybe also who knows? Maybe he's like, yeah, I knew, and I liked it. <laughs> like, I don't fucking know the guy. <laughs> you know, like I'm not gonna sit here and presume that he's like. I'm not gonna devil's advocate a guy. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I, I am gonna say I, I have my my uh, relationship with Wilbur is we've had long conversations at night. Some of which have been like hours. Like I, I think oh. I've talked to him like in total probably twelve hours. You know, which isn't like best friend territory. Not like, not like, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> not like best friend territory, yeah. but like he's pretty good friend. Yeah, you're acquainted. Yeah, we're acquainted. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it's oh, such a fucking insane. Yeah character enlightenment like imagine the one person you wouldn't think would be into biting bitches yeah turns out to be into biting bitches. Well, like, it's also a lesson he in like- behind the scenes is that wholesome like you know what i mean like yeah. he doesn't put on an act in, in except for he does apparently yeah, it's because like, behind the it's scenes lesson, he bites though, like do you ever really know someone you know? yeah do you ever really like people are married <laughs> for 20 years and then uh, you and know, then it they, hits him in the head with a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, paints a wall. <laughs> it's a landscape on a wall and you run right into it. Like, I don't know. It's, it's, yeah. but also you shouldn't live with like such fear of like, oh, everyone's crazy. But, uh, you know, keep your walls up, stay guarded. <laughs> you <laughs> never know when, when they're going to turn. People are going to turn eventually and you don't know when. Uh, uh I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I've had those thoughts every night here. Like, what if... What if I, Sam's actually like a psycho? I wake up and he's standing above me. <laughs> yeah, and he's like got a big hammer or something. I mean, it doesn't have to be a hammer. It could yeah, be. guys, poop left in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. That's, I'm just rehearsing. You tell my dad that my mom picked me up. <laughs> my mom that my dad picked me up. Yeah. Get a big family feud going. <laughs> we went to this awesome Peruvian place. Had some pretty mid-lunch. That's probably the worst sandwich i've had from there that chicken was delicious that i had was it good it was really good okay well we were eating this, at this peruvian place yep. and it's become kind of a staple for me when someone comes into town i bring them to the peruvian I've place got one of those places yeah it's like show off like, like. because afterwards i buy the tre leche cake and bring it home and we eat it after smoking some weed and usually they take this cake you put like special milk on or whatever. They fucking didn't put it in like a little ketchup thing, like a to go container, like you do with like salad dressing. They just poured it as if they're serving it right now. So now it's been five, six hours. I don't know. It has been 10 hours since we basically got that. The cake has to be a soggy mess by now. Not but, everything's heaven over yeah. here. It's not, a little trouble, cake soggy. A little trouble in paradise. My <laughs> tres leches is going to be a little soggier, even though it's supposed to be a soggy cake. It's going to be a little more, a little more than I like. Yeah. <laughs> and a more well, than, usually yeah. it's. I think it's supposed to be. It's like cereal when you put milk in it versus cereal. You put milk in it and come back to it ten hours later. That's fair. It's going to be fucking yucky, but delicious because yeah, we're going to eat the whole thing. Yeah, I'm going mean. to eat the entire thing. It's it is it has been so good here just getting like meals like full meals made and then they have dessert every time after it's just like crazy uh, a lot of trad wife stuff going on up there like Jesus Christ yeah this guy's got it made okay he's, he's doing well dude I've said it before okay I know I have it made yeah. all right that's fine. I treat her like an angel because I squirted her when she was sleeping. She tried to rest for one second. She's been taking care of the kids for like a week straight. I got her good, though, with that squirt gun. Oh, her she mouth's was... a little open. <laughs> she wants to feel important, okay? Like, you didn't forget about her in that chair. You know, mom's still a part of the picture. Kids kick the back of the legs out. Make her hit her head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the... Uh, no, we don't have good. we don't have dessert every night, but... Uh, I do at least. <laughs> like if we don't have enough ice cream for them, you know, Daddy Sam still gets his, <laughs> his scoop left for me. Yeah, 
I get that. I, uh, no, I, dude. I honestly, I've realized like now I'm, I'm, you know, usually I'm just kind of like on autopilot mode when I go up there and dinner and then yeah. cleaning up afterwards. But having you here for some reason, I'm more conscious of what I'm doing. I've realized that the amount of food I eat after, I like, I make my plate, I eat it, and then cleaning up the kitchen, I'm like, the girls barely ate the fucking quesadilla I made. Yeah, I, didn't. <laughs> I eat like all their extra shit. And then, yeah, usually dessert. Oh my God. It's I need not- to get my fucking life together. What the hell? <laughs> and then doing? Trace Leches every night. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> Trace Leches. Uh, it's not my place, but I was wondering at dinner, like, these kids ate like a spoonful of rice. Like, it's fucked up. I how know. are they? Are they f- like, they're not going to be hungry later? No, that's why they're like normal weight <laughs> that's why they're like I don't know. that's why you can see the ribs and shit <laughs> <laughs> they're really hungry yeah, they're... cps if you're watching this and tsa if you're watching this sorry <laughs> but if you're cps get this guy because he's they're they look very hungry they, look very <laughs> no, hungry. they, they won't eat i don't yeah. know what it is they're like dainty they're just like oh they eat so they'll eat like tomatoes and then they're like mm, quesadilla is weird i want street like they'll take they'll eat the shredded cheese in a pile but they won't eat a quesadilla with it melted inside uh yeah, I, I don't get it i can't i can't help God, these kids i don't have kids and usually they tear chips up like they love them this time did they even eat a chip they didn't eat shit it, it, there's Nary no winning there's no yeah. winning and i used to be so frustrated with my mom back in the day i'd be like oh you bought pudding or something i love pudding now eat it because it's a novelty to all of a sudden have pudding when you don't eat it a lot uh-huh. <clears throat> and then she would go to the grocery store and buy like 24 puddings and expect me to <laughs> plow through them oh poor guy had I too <laughs> much pudding at <laughs> home oh my god that's like the only equivalent i can think of because yeah. like they'll just be like oh i love chips and, and dip and then you provide them chips them, yeah. and dip and they're like oh i had that like a week ago oh, the grass is always greener you yeah rats. so that's yeah. why their plate has like a million things on it because i'm like just fucking eat something like eat <laughs> anything you have to take those sunglasses off. It's killing me. What? You're like Jack Nicholson. It's I can't. So bright, dude. They can't see how big this fucking light is. <laughs> you say it's a fill light. It's a goddamn. It has to be bright. It fails bright. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Especially after you made me take off the sunglasses. I can't even think. <laughs> so fucking. <laughs> I feel like a like a moth trapped in a lamp. This is a little intermission. Uh, We left halfway through this episode to go watch They Came Together. This guy has been talking about how great this movie is for like years now, probably five years. He's been like, you need to see this movie. So I went to go watch it. And uh, and then now we're returning after having seen apparently Poob's like favorite movie. Coming back, sitting back down. These rock. (laughs) These. Yeah, (laughs) no, we did well. Yeah, we cooked. We fucking cooked. I, th- I like them the more I look at them, honestly. Mm-hmm. No detail missed. Yeah. It's Pretty of, freaking nice. It's meticulous. Yeah. So we watched They Came Together and probably a text up maybe the third time I've shown it to someone and just sat there so they just kind of were quiet for most of it. Uh, I just can't help but giggle every time. I, I just... Like, You're like... <laughs> You're like watching a movie with a seal, dude. Yeah. You're just like, oh, 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 oh yeah. at I, everything. I, I it just Paul Rudd just looks at the camera and goes, yeah. mm, and you're like, oh, oh, dude, oh, I, oh, anything like by David Wayne. I just fucking, I really. <laughs> you probably wouldn't like wet. Have you seen Wet Hot American Summer? No. Uh, it's like the same type of humor. Absolutely, like <laughs> the original movie's all right. The show really funny. I would never, I would never watch that on my own. Oh yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. like, if you hadn't said like, or if you hadn't taken the remote. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no. You one know what the worst it. part about that is? What? I bought it. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, four bucks. Yeah. It, got, it costs money. Yeah. I I should have like not just rented it, but also bought it. That yeah. way you have it. The fucking so 4K. Show it to Abby, yeah. The 4K version. Even less last than right then. <laughs> 4k version i mean it shot like horribly but i, yeah. I, mean, I can't imagine the budget on that like ten thousand dollars or something the i feel like it might be actually kind of hard to get that like a uh, lifetime quality oh, like lighting yeah. yeah or maybe not who fucking knows but everything's so clean they did a good job replicating it 
And That's Michael sure. Shannon cameo is probably the most expensive. <laughs> Him just running with a katana <laughs> is like the funniest thing to me every time. Yeah. He's escaped from prison. He's coming right now. <laughs> that is, <laughs> That's the best part of the movie for sure. Yeah. Is is randomly Michael Shannon coming in. <laughs> that guy fucking rocks, by the yeah. way. Have you seen him in Boardwalk Empire? No. It's just the most terrifying man. He's got and people keep like fucking with him. Like you if a guy looks like Lurch and has that yeah. kind of like you can tell just unbridled <laughs> rage boiling beneath the surface. Don't fuck with him. Like there's multiple people that are like, We're gonna blow your head off, <laughs> you freak, and he's just like Kills him with a claw hammer like 10 minutes later. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, he looks insane. Like, yeah. He definitely has like a... I would not fuck with that no, guy. absolutely not. I, I watched his, um, like the, his Criterion like, pick list. He's oh, actually yeah, yeah. like an awesome guy in interviews and stuff. He just seems like such a cool dude. That's good to hear. Yeah. Because he looks like a monster. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad he's like doing good out there. Because you can tell if a guy can act like that... <laughs> He's capable. Yeah, it's somewhere He's in there. Capable of killing. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if that's how it works, but yeah, definitely. Uh, Al Pacino's a yeah, killer. Uh, I can't believe Al Pacino's like what? having a kid. <laughs> he just had oh, a I kid like six months ago. I forgot about that. And yeah. he's like, uh, how old? He looks like 120 or something. <laughs> he's old as shit. De Niro had one. They're both like on the list. Yeah. If you go to Wikipedia for oldest fathers ever. That age is gonna keep, you know, that record will keep being broken. It's yeah, life expectancy. Because they keep coming up with like awesome boner pills. Yeah. Boner pills are insane now. So those rich old guys can bang. Oh, yeah. dude, my future's looking bright. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, awesome. I <laughs> laughed as a young boy and now I'm like I'm still laughing, but I'm like, I could utilize that when I get older. <laughs> that will be fucking sick. <laughs> What having kids when you're like seven? No, just fucking still. Oh, oh, boner I'm pills, sure there's yeah. like a lot of old dudes that are like, damn, I wish I could do that still. And it's, <sighs> I'm sure what, like you get like one boner a year. You have to make sure to be ready to use it. I honestly I don't know. have no idea what it's like. Yeah, when you're that old, like I'm gonna call my dad. Yeah, after just, <laughs> should I call him at it's fucking two you, in the morning? You get boner, <laughs> whatever. You I use boner. it less frequent than <laughs> ever. You still get morning wood, or how's that work? Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that's the thing old people like talking about. But there's medicine, so surely, what age does that start happening? Like thirty-two, I've 26, heard. Twenty-six. <laughs> yeah. Thirty-two. Uh, I don't know. There's like definitely that moment in your teenage years where it's like I would like it if I could just go a week without having one. This is ridiculous because you just you're fucking sitting in the back of the bus and it vibrates funny and you're like, oh, to patch like my fifth pair of jeans because I burst right through them. Yeah. Yeah, um, and then uh, and then that phase goes away, and you're like, "Oh, sweet, I just have a normal working penis." And then I couldn't imagine it just failing you one day. Scary. You know it's on the horizon at some point. There'll be so many things to put on your penis, like cybernetics and stuff, or pills or whatever, gel over it, or like condom that just like, <laughs> makes you burst. Uh, that fucking <clears throat> like Elon Musk brain chip. Oh, yeah, Neuralinks. Yeah, Neuralink. Come. Like, Come. Get on. <laughs> porn directly into your retinas. Oh, uh, that's going to be awesome. Yeah, I mean, at that age, like, when it's hard to move and everything, I'd be good just, like, Neuralink telling me to come. Like, not even get hard to bang, just, like, straight cut to chase. Like, I don't need to be throwing my body around when I'm that old or, you know. Yeah. Having someone on top. At that of point, I'm definitely going to have, like, chronic sciatica. It's like, I can't do this. You think old people just, like, uh, like jerk each other <laughs> off and finger bang? Or, like, what do they even do? Like, they actually... Because you always hear, like, at retirement homes, like, yeah, they have a lot of sex. Like, it, can't, it can't be good. Yeah, yeah. what sex? Like, yeah. I'd be interested in, I'd be interested to see that. <laughs> to get a visual on that, yeah. I never thought about that, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Easiest, most <laughs> lazy old people positions. One gets on the walker and like, falls forward <laughs> enough, and the other person just like bangs out. I never thought yeah. of like pulling yeah. on their fucking white hat, bro. <laughs> Joke me, old. <laughs> yeah, bite me. Yeah, throwback. Call call back to earlier. Call it was back. like three hours ago now. <laughs> Forever Christ, ago. Yeah, yeah. There's such a like. Got it. That was so the many, dumbest idea. Yeah, well, let's go get some fucking podcast ideas. Sat down in this idea. exact same place. <laughs> yeah. 
Now we're going to have to stay <laughs> up now, so late. I'm insanely tired. Yeah. And then we still have to print out like <laughs> yeah, a lot to, more of these. We have to print so many fucking posters. We are fucked and we have to sign them. I don't even know where the hell I'm going to sign them. I feel like if I sign it, I'm going to fuck it up. We should just make a stamp tonight. <laughs> You're going to have Abby's stamp for signatures on it when I leave. My signature is just like a P, just a basic P, just write a P down. Dude, I barely have an actual like signature for a check. Oh, yeah. I couldn't. I, how am I supposed to come up with a cool one for General Sam? What? I don't know. Do I cr- sign General Sam? Do I? Should we just sign Sam? Both of <laughs> two, us just Sam. Sam. Yeah. Sam. That's, two Sams. That's, yeah. That'd look really good. Because I've had people like ask me for a signature. I'm like, what do you want me to sign? Like, I don't think I could do a cursive P. Anytime someone like at TwitchCon, when people are like sign your yeah. badge, I just write it. You know, regular yeah, poob. poob, and then I've been experimenting with the two uh, circles and those putting eyeballs. a smiley face under. So it's like that's kind of cust- playful, customized, yeah, playful. Yeah. It's like iconic. It's like the Nike check or something. You know, it's just like it's you know. What's funny is remember how gung ho that guy was to like, hey, draw on my arm. I'm gonna go get it tattooed. <laughs> yeah. well, where's and that then that tattoo we tattoo at? <laughs> yeah, where the fuck's <laughs> I we shit pre- about that. We proceeded fuck? to draw the biggest fucking yeah. dumbass like thing down this awful. guy's arm. It he was, he <laughs> gave us tinker time. We could have made something good, we but he gave us first he iteration. Gave us, yeah, t- twenty seconds. You know <laughs> that was so funny because he was I like, haven't heard oh, shit about that. He was like, "Omid, you can add some too." And he was like, "Jesus Christ!" <laughs> he used hands so shaky. He's like, "So much pressure." Devin wouldn't even do it. Yeah. Um, Devin, and unpressurable. Yeah, think, even then, we were like, "Dude, you don't have to get this tattooed. Like, this is pretty bad." <laughs> he's, he's like, I'm "No, doing I got it." Guys, friends, like, don't. It will tag you. I think he next day was like, "Holy shit, <laughs> like, this is awful." <laughs> yeah. It's just like a fat little baby or something. With <laughs> he drew basically just like a, yeah, just a fat baby. Yeah, <laughs> with nothing that, really funny on it. There wasn't any. Had like little tits or something. <laughs> yeah. like, like little man boobs and a belly. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, it was yeah. awful. I, I kind of want him to send the picture in just to see what it looked like, just to remember yeah. how bad it was. You know what's funny is once you took the head off this guy, he really looks like an action figure. It looks yeah. like he's a tiny man, but it is a full ass dude. Yeah, it's pretty cool because yeah. I do love action figures. <laughs> he's like a hot toy. Oh, shit. I have a present for you. Oh. Yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> hey, a present for me? This is in a thrift store. I told you I have a present for you. It climbs. Whoa. Wait, was this by the TV? Yeah. I clocked this like three <laughs> times. I was like, oh, that's cool. He's got like a Lord of the Rings toy. It's Hell a, yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, Gollum. It's a little Gollum and he, he has a wall and he climbs up the wall. Sponsor this video, guys. Check out Gollum. <laughs> it's sweet. Thank you. Well, shit. I, I figured with you... These, I'm like, do I open it or... No, you open it, you discard the wall, and then you have him climb up something in your in your office. I figure if he can climb up a wall, you could, you could have him climb up saying. anything. Well, I think by just reading the instruction, the wall is... His climb. climb. Fuck. But okay. also, just break out a little drywall, put that in this place. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure your roommate will love yeah. that. Yeah, I have to install my permanent Gollum you're, fixture. You're going to want this in here for property value or whatever. I don't give a shit. I'm not. Oh, my God. Dude, you're going to make me do this whole... He's got a little twisties on every limb. Christ. They have them like Mondo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it It's Mongo? Is it Mongo or Mondo? No, I think it's Mondo. I think it's Mongo. <laughs> Mongo? Could be too. I like how Mongo just full ass punches a horse in the oh face and knocks it out. When he tips one fully over, <laughs> and it's just a big stuffed horse. It's awesome. <laughs> it's like, dude, it's, it's, like, he's it's like leaving residue. Like it's like almost wet or something. That's good. That's good realism. <laughs> he Gollum. smells like rotted fish yeah. or whatever. Oh, dude, feel him. Feel his weird. Uh, oh yeah, he's got like a. <laughs> I'm going to take my contacts out later and go blind or something. He's got like Gollum juice on him. I don't know what Look that is. Look how crazy he is. It's Gollum goo. Yeah. You don't know that. Uh, just he, he himself is awesome. Yeah, he does leave He does leave a little oil yeah, slick on your that? hand. Yeah, mm, Very flammable. Gollum goo. One of the best scenes in Lord of the Rings is where they, they show... You don't even like Lord of the Rings. No, dude. Gollum. It's like before when he's like Schmeagol. Oh, yeah. And he, he finds the ring with his friend. They're out fishing in the little boat. I, he <clears> throttles I love, him. 
Yeah, I love that whole scene. That's your it's favorite so, scene. Yeah, it's so like idyllic, like the yeah. little little river they're in and everything. Okay. Yeah, fuck you. I can like that scene. No, I, I just <laughs> is it your favorite? Yes, scene? it's my oh, favorite no, okay. scene in the in the, the movies. Well, you know that's cool because it's not one of those that's like super campy, like a lot of them. Yeah, it's like yeah. grounded little yeah. ring scene. Little guy gets turned into a ghoul. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's a little it's just like a little more like down to earth. Like little guy like kills his friend over a ring and turns into <laughs> Well, a it's ghoul. relatable. It's a relatable yeah. story. <laughs> guy kills. I I I see it and I'm like it's <laughs> you, you give me like a puzzle over here. Doing all right. Yeah, I like well, how it was more put together, and then somehow it's like come well, less. I, I was I got like ahead of myself, and I was like, oh, these two things they go together. Wait, does it just bind his hands? I don't know yet. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be like a whole. I fucking hate you! I hate you! A whole process. You've embarrassed me. You've, you've ruined Christmas. It's so. There's four fucking little pieces that have to go in. <laughs> There's no way this is just how it works. Okay. Girl. <laughs> Am I crazy? You just put his arms in this thing. And he He's just... just in shackles? Yes. He's in fucking wall shackles? I'm pretty sure you just... You basically shackle him, and then you slide it up the little shitty... The, the track. Is this how it goes together? This rocks, and it will go well next to the... Gandalf the Brown... <laughs> Like the Gandalf hot toy you got me, they got shit water all over it <laughs> yeah. for my friend. <laughs> <laughs> this, this rocks, dude. He's just like, he looks scary. I don't know. It's almost better to <laughs> hold on. <laughs> just put that like down. There you go. That's what he looks like. He's, and he's very gonna, cool. You can't see over a video the feel. Yeah. Feel is. So important. This doesn't get across just how oily he is, but... Thank you. Uh, yeah. God, I'm such a cool boss. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, Christmas bonus. He's been talking about it for a while, and it finally came in, so that's awesome. Thank you. And I will treasure this. Um, I remember... Those are... I had Xbox right when it came out, and destiny one was like the most hyped up i got for a game in so long up to that point like it really felt like the future and i bought the like expensive version like first time i had done that on a game like special edition from gamestop and not only did the game suck but when i bought it like my internet was so shitty and the xbox was so bad it took me like 14 hours to download the game even with the disc and that was one of the first times i'd like run into that so, you know, on like 360, you just pop it in and play. Yeah. But the goddamn <clears throat> update to even play the disc that was in it took like a ridiculous amount of time when you're like a little kid and you have school the next day and you're like excited to play. And I don't know if I've ever been more hurt by a game like just personally like this fucking sucks. You didn't end up liking it afterwards? I had f like, I don't know, like two weeks of fun. <laughs> And I had some good <clears throat> memories at the beginning, but it would just wasn't like the way it was hyped up and all the shit about like, this game's going to last for 10 years. Like we're going to be pumping out updates. I just thought I'd be more invested in it and it kind of yeah. let me down. Dude, I saved up allowance for weeks to get enough money to get uh, a new game for N64. And oh. I got my dad... I was like, Dad, please bring me to the store so we can so I can get this fucking game. And he's like, Okay, are you sure you want it? And I'd picked out Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. Okay. It's the worst fucking Tony Hawk in the bunch, dude. It was horrific. I got home. It was like forty five bucks or something like that, which was like a huge amount of money for me. Yeah, when you're a kid, I mean yeah, that's huge. Yeah. That was everything. That was that was like my life savings. It and sucks. I played it for like an hour and a half and then i that was my first instance of like major buyer's remorse like my yeah like my stomach sank and i was just like Ugh. like it, i'm gonna be more fiscally responsible yeah come on and i i haven't been hyped for a video game since uh, okay i keep my bad. expectations low and then if a game comes out and it's just like 
makes me smile once. I'm like, okay, I'm happy with it. I never learned. I still get really hyped up for games and let down <laughs> so often. But also, it's you know, it's good to look forward to things. No. <laughs> Two Worlds 2 was like probably my earliest game where I remember I went in, bought it. It's like, I like the first. Have you ever played Two Worlds? Mm-mm. At the time, I was like, this kind of looks like Oblivion. It was pretty fun, honestly. The first one, like... Oh, wait, I, kn- I know what game you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, pro- it probably sucks in hindsight, but I had a lot of fun. And when the second one came out, it's just one of those, like, you go to GameStop, and you're like, oh, shit, this is on the shelf. And I bought it new, and I couldn't... I mean, at that time, I was probably, like, 13 or something. Like, I was past the age where I should be able to play games, you know, well. Yeah. Or well enough. I couldn't get out of the <clears> tutorial, and I, like... <laughs> I don't know what it was, but I just, I could not beat the tutorial. I was like, this is the worst game I ever played. And I tried to take it back and gotten, that's when I found out too about GameStop's policy where they're like, you can't return a new game for a full refund. You can only return a used game. And I was like, well, it's used now. And they're like, that's not how it works. I don't know if you've ever dealt with that. It's a goddamn nightmare. Let me tell you about okay. the second time I had buyer's okay. remorse. All right, let's hear it. I bought a new game. Mm-hmm. What game? I fucking forget. Okay. Sounds and good. I went to go bring it back because I was so p- disappointed. And they were like, oh, yeah, you get like $30 for this. I was like, I just bought it for 60 Yeah. The guy's like, well, it, I can't sell it as a new game now. You took the cellophane off. I was like, it's been in the Xbox one time. Like, right there, I, I felt like crying in a GameStop, which, of course, this guy's, like, probably 19. Yeah. Oh, my God. He, he probably give a shit he felt like God yeah. right there. Like, I would Dude, almost so- give anything to reject a little kid over his GameStop video game. GameStop employees have some sort of, like, complex or yeah. something. I don't know what it's, it is. There's like a, there has to be a GameStop employee to TSA Pipeline. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. Has they are, be. like, the same it's type, the same of, type like, of people. I got you. <laughs> yeah. I got you just this with this. This is my yeah. one shred of power. God, yeah, I don't know why TSA people are always dicks. Like, I flew. they got fired from GameStop. Yeah. It's just like the I'm just getting free games. Fuck. <laughs> I get free flights. I don't go anywhere. I fucking hate the world. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to shit talk TSA more <laughs> so I get on that list quicker. I fucking hate those guys. <laughs> Except uh, for that one TSA employee that, that recognized, recognized me in yeah. Idaho. You rock. That was cool. Yeah. There was like a specific GameStop employee from kind of near where I lived that I'd like it almost have felt personal where I'd go in there when I was a little kid and my, I'd make my grandma take me and I'd be like, I want GTA. And, you know, they do the classic like, okay, well, are you sure it's got mature? But this guy would be like, really? Like, you're going to let him play this game. It's got nudity, graphic violence. And my grandma's, like, so <laughs> not into any of that stuff. But my dad's like, I don't care. Like, go buy it for him. Like, <laughs> she would just be sitting there, like, so embarrassed. And like, oh, my God. Like, this game has blood and gore and nudity. And the guy, it's like he's fighting not to get a sale every time. I don't know. They probably don't get commission or anything. But- All he saw was a kid that wanted to play a game, and he could stomp on that dream. It happened like multiple <clears throat> times until I went in there with my dad and he was like talking about my dad's like, dude, I don't give a shit. Like I'm going to be playing this game too. <laughs> and I found out later, like my mom went to high school with him. I mean, unrelated, like he's no way was like, that's <laughs> that girl's, but he was just like the worst guy ever in high school. And now he's become Wait, like the a game stop him. Yeah. Playing? Now he's become like a generational curse on my family where like it was awful to my mom in high school. How Keeps o- me from buying GTA. How old is this guy? I mean, he was probably like 35 when I was going in there. What the heck? I'm surprised GameStop doesn't like monitor them and be like, why the fuck did you go up there? You went up there, you talked to that lady, she walked out without making the sale. You would think they would be like, I don't give a fuck. Make the sale on the game. <sighs> They're just all in the back jerking off and playing <laughs> video games, probably. Their jobs aren't real. They just play video <laughs> games. Jerk you know off. what the best place to go get like a midnight release was? Ripley's Believe It or Not was Toys R Us. They had and for I've a, heard that before, but I've never been in one. Go in there, you walk in, nobody's there because nobody goes to fucking Toys R Us. Yeah. You walk out with your game and they go, Well, they sent us a bunch of boxes like there was gonna be people. There was never people. That That's was when awesome. it was on its way out, but it was. I got my Halo in the little metal case. Uh, nice. Yeah, Halo Three, I yep. think. Midnight release, Reach as well. Maybe. Wait, Reach was way too late. I don't think I was doing midnight releases at that point. I went to a couple in high school, and it was 
really sweet. <laughs> it was uh, it was a lot of fun. I won a trivia one time, and they gave me a Call of Duty poster. So <laughs> pretty big for me. It was huge. What was the, what was the question? Oh, wait, what's what Call of Duty is this picture? I don't remember. <laughs> what call, what? I don't remember the question. Like that wasn't as big of a deal as getting it right with my friends there, you know. And they were like, "You're the smartest guy ever." Like you're probably you are so fucking. You're, you're cool. probably the coolest Call of Duty player ever. <laughs> Uh, I think it was like a really cool. basic question. I just like blurted it out first. Go- Ghost. Yeah. Ramirez. Ghostbusters. Go Ghostbusters. <laughs> or, uh, yeah, it's funny how something could be so cool in that moment where five years later you're like, oh, like I would. You're the biggest dumb loser in the fucking world. And that trivia question is bullshit. <laughs> Stupid asshole. I probably cheated. I probably read the, <laughs> read the slip when he put his hand down. Yeah. That's the worst day of my life. I hate again those. <laughs> It's awful. <laughs> Dude, my uh, my mom used to date this guy that he would go to a trivia night at this restaurant. It was a trivia group where they would they would have little contests. But the trivia night was the same subject for every question every time. Oh. And it was Forrest Gump trivia. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and so they would have like the most minute details where they would try to get somebody. Like, what well, what's the bus driver's name? Oh, yeah. In... In Forrest Gump. You study for it by just watching <laughs> the movie watching a couple the, times. A bunch of times. It's great, you know. It is a good, it's a really good watch. rewatchable movie. It's not as good as they came together or as impactful, but yeah, it, <laughs> yeah. it's a good movie. Yeah. I feel like I haven't seen any Tom Hanks movie in forever. Uh, what's your favorite one? <laughs> Catch me if you can. I don't know. My favorite one, maybe Castaway, maybe. Did you hear that entire Castaway Rocks, by the way? Yeah. Castaway fucking rocks, yeah, but um, have you heard that Catch Me If You Can was all a lie? I think I saw something like titled that, and I was like, I don't want to, re- I don't want to know anymore. <laughs> well, let me tell you, okay, Frank awesome. Abagnale Jr. claimed that he was like conning all these people and writing these blank check or writing like fake checks, and he it was the entire story of Catch Me If You Can, the movie. If you've seen it, that's what he <laughs> yes, claimed was his his uh his actual life. And it turns out he's just like a like a really awesome con man. He just lied about doing yeah. all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, he's an even better con man than we thought. He's, he's like, like he did. Yeah. He he lied. Got a movie That's made about so, him. Like awesome. Like. And, but he just sat around and did nothing. He didn't do any of that. That's the ultimate con. Yeah, it is. he's the perfect con man. That I'm now glad I heard that because that puts him up even higher. <laughs> I know. In my eyes. He's it's like a lazy world. man's con man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's the long game, too. It's a long con, man. You keep making up awesome, fantastical stories till a movie gets made. And he got like a book signing deal, and yeah. or, like the the rights to his movie were purchased for that movie. So I'm sure he got like a fat check. That's, I mean, that's yeah, the story's cool. good enough though that and Christopher Walken rocks in that movie. We'll find out in 20 years. He lied about lying about. <laughs> And he was all those things, but even more, he was a super agent. He was was basically like a Sam Fisher type. And Uh, have you seen The Revenant? Yeah, yeah. I. You need to look up that guy's actual life. His name's like Hugh Glass. The Revenant part of his life was like just but a little fraction. Oh wait, I think I remember. Like uh, maybe I don't remember. He's been like a. He's been in a lot of. Like, incident yeah he got like captured by pirates and swam to the shore and just kind of like him and some guy just like walked oh. into the interior of the country he's a leonardo character he's probably lied about that shit just yeah it down. <laughs> yeah but uh he had an awesome awesome long life i would have given up real quick oh. i think in in situations like that like if i got captured by pirates i don't think i would fight all that hard to to get out i'd just be one of those well, you just lay down <laughs> die <laughs> Scurvy, well, please. You see those movies like 12 Years a Slave where the guy's going through like the worst shit in the world. Yeah. I'm like, I could probably just run at this wall really fucking <laughs> fast. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. And yeah. like, I'd hold like, my breath I might, until my head popped or something. <laughs> yeah. Like I'd just get out of there. Yeah, probably. I, 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 might, I might hack it for a year, maybe yeah. two. Yeah. No end in sight. Oh, they uh, <laughs> they killed Lincoln. All right, yeah. I'm fucking doing it. I'm running up against the wall. I would try to do like my first backflip ever. Like win win. I, I do it poorly. I'm dead. Yeah. I do it well. I've successfully. <laughs> I'm a guy that can do a backflip. But that's, I can do a backflip. Yeah. I can hack slavery. That's yeah. fine. 
<laughs> well, just mean in any of those movies. You know, yeah. you're on a pirate ship. And yeah, Castaway. Yeah, <laughs> Castaway. Holy shit, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try backflip <laughs> off this cliff. <laughs> I love how you like. Yeah, when it got to the root canal, I'm dead. Like, yeah, I'm not yeah, dead now, I would. Know? Yeah, I'd just kill myself. <laughs> yeah, he knocks out his tooth. I love how he like creates all this rope from vines, and he like cre- he gets like a big log that's almost his weight. And throws it off the edge of the cliff, and the rope snaps, and he's like, oh, I can't even kill myself. I'm like, just jump off the fucking cliff, dude. It was like a 100-foot fall. You watch the log yeah. go whoosh, down yeah. into the abyss. Oh, I can't get a beautiful, <laughs> like, hanging death. Yeah. I can't just, just jump. I want my body as yeah. a, a trophy. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't movie. seen that movie in forever, mm-hmm. either. Uh, I remember a decent amount. Root Canal, of course. Yeah, he, Wilson, who could forget him? Such a lovable. I didn't like character. that he he gets back and his girl's been married. Uh, yeah, another guy. How long has he been gone? Like seven years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd probably be like. Yeah, he's and she has kids with the other person. Yeah. Did she have kids with Tom Hanks? No, they were at the beginning. Of their- yeah, I mean that's awful, but yeah, it's also like. Well, no, she like her kids were like kind of old. <laughs> like and so, yeah, I'm like seven. She started dating like immediately yeah. after the plane crash and then married this guy. I would assume within because the kid's like five, like very quickly. She got hitched and got hooked up or uh, knocked up. I think <laughs> I, I think she she probably was like Woof! when he died. Yeah, she probably hated him. Yeah, probably a stupid, dumb bitch. And when he was gone, she was like, now's my chance. Because I think she fucks, like, Patrick Warburton, maybe. <laughs> now, Patrick Swayze, I'd understand. <laughs> you know what's funny is I thought for a long time Patrick Swayze was a um, was a pedophile. He got caught with child porn. I've and, never even heard of that. <laughs> and then I, <laughs> like, I told that to people as if it was fact. It turns out it's ah. just his character in uh, Donnie Darko. Oh, my God. <laughs> his character in Donnie Darko gets found with child porn. That's such a nightmare <laughs> as an actor. What if you spread that to enough people? I've, I've probably said it, like, on a video of, yeah. like, of mine from, like, 2017 <laughs> or something. Be like, yeah, I got, got caught with, like, a shitload of child porn. <laughs> there's, there's, I understand. Did you watch the movie and you're like, holy shit, he, he's real. You know how bad my memory is? Yeah. I watched the movie. I was like, oh, shit, Patrick Swayze is a pedophile. I thought it was the news. I don't know. <laughs> I thought I was watching fucking cops Where or something. Where am I? What's happening? <laughs> what Who's Don't that rabbit, man? Patrick Swayze admitted to that shit. Doesn't he see the camera? <laughs> Jill and all is fucking crazy. Holy get, shit. Dirt. Get Jake, get cute little Jake away. He's so young in that movie. Get That's... him away from Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> Yelling at the TV? Yeah. Maybe you, they can get that, get, get you and that big rabbit out of there. <laughs> Patrick Swayze. He's a child rapist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, he'll go for children who knows he might go for rabbits yeah get, get it out. turns out he's actually just like a great yeah. guy yeah, just like renowned like <laughs> just a cool dude <laughs> that's awesome yeah i don't know that's if awful. i just spread that misinformation be out of like me just being an idiot or i think abby always said he was really hunky and i was like fuck this guy i'm gonna ruin his I'm rap gonna tell, like, i'm gonna gossip <laughs> I'm going to bring him down to nothing. Okay. So I, you want to go, Mr. Hunky? Yeah, okay. This man's not even around to yeah. defend himself. You want to take my wife? <laughs> of my house? He's been dead a yeah. decade. Yeah. He's <laughs> been dead a decade, right? Didn't it? Was it, was yeah. Ju- I think he died like uh, like 2010 or something. Oh. Didn't he? I don't know where yeah. my phone is. Wait, yeah. Who the hell am I? Yeah, he did <laughs> die a, a while ago. Yeah. Who you know who is of? you know who is a pederast? The principal from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I saw that. That's wow. that guy what sucks too is like there's very few actors where it's like that guy's a slime ball yeah. when you see him. And then behind the scenes you're like, Oh, it's well, unfortunate we were just that talking he, about Michael Shannon. Like yeah. thank God he's not like a monster because yeah. he looks so aggressive. But the problem is yeah, this, this guy, guy looks like a slime ball and he's like he's a method actor, you know. He's got like he's like making it look bad for all slime balls and like <laughs> yeah. grease balls and everything. Like what the hell? Yeah. Uh I love those actors though, where it's like, Oh, you need a fucking creep? Yeah. <laughs> you need is, a cre- is that uh, what dis- character actors are? Is that I guess like, so, they just yeah. are always like yeah, typecast it as a oh, you need like well, a just, gross little I don't know. or like they just play different man. types of dudes. Maybe yeah, I'm thinking the wrong thing. Yeah, being typecast is like 
gross little man. It's got to be tough because, <laughs> I mean, typecasting is real. <laughs> like, you yeah. get caught in that, you know, they're not making – they're not making that guy like lead and rom com. No. Some people break out of it though. I mean, that guy clearly no. I, I, Jonah Hill tried and he like lost all this weight and he's like, "What the fuck? Like nobody's hiring me." He was good in Moneyball. He was, but he was also really fat in Moneyball. The f- he got hired he because he was fat. fat. Yeah, yeah. He lost all the weight. Where's <laughs> where are you now? Yeah, Dude, smoking weed probably. Yeah. Why don't you smoke weed and eat a little bit and get back into good movies like Moneyball? <laughs> super bad too. Yes, Come on. super. Bad. If they do a super bad too, that would suck so bad. <laughs> Have you ever seen the uh, Jay and Silent Bob movie where they do the uh, Goodwill Hunting too? Yeah, I, ne- I never like watched them. I always heard people talk about Clerks and Clerks Two and Jay and Silent Bob. Yeah, I, I don't I think never... I've seen Clerks Two. I've seen the Clerks. I yeah, I don't know if like they'd hold up now if I watched them, but yeah. The time uh, you think they would hold up as well as Blazing Saddles? No, no, Blazing Saddles is kind of a timeless. <laughs> yeah, flick. yeah, it brought me back. Mongo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> there's some aspects to it that are a little dated. Yeah, I got really offended at some the of the guy, Jew jokes. Yeah, the rest of it I was completely okay with. The guys on the horses with the motorcycle things. Like yeah. I'm like, okay, you come after bikers. You come after all of us, dude. Yeah. Hey, yeah. what the hell? Yeah. The rest of the movie was fine, though. It yeah. Was, it was all right. I Yeah, I wish you laughed like so hard you cried during <laughs> they came together. <laughs> wish you were like cracking up and pointing at the TV. I'm sorry. Yeah, but, it, no, I'm, I'm not I, like a I, reactive I, viewer. I'm not like somebody fine. that just goes like, oh, like belly laugh, Whatever, point at the yeah. screen. Uh, which you are, you giggle like a little baby. You're over there. Sometimes you're tapping your feet. <laughs> well, the joy is coursing through my body and I'm, I'm having such a ball. Uh, it's one of the pleasures of life, you know, watching a funny movie with someone, except when the other person's a brick wall, it's kind of like, Oh my God, what the hell? Uh, I'm soaking no, it all in. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. It's like the opposite of riff tracks or something where no yeah. commentary. Yeah. Anytime. I'm just watching it, man. That's fair. That's fair. I yeah. appreciate you soaking it. Because it is the worst, too, when you're like... I know earlier you said you hate showing... Like, you hate when people show someone a movie and you're like, ooh, this is a good part coming up. But on the inverse, it's so bad when you know a good part's coming up and someone, like, turns and starts talking to you and they're like, oh, hey, by the way, like, tomorrow, yeah. do you think we should... And you, like, know the... Like, one of the big laughs of the movies coming up. Yeah. And you're like, eh, like you don't want to be rude, but also it's like if you don't fucking watch this part of the movie, I have to make some weird reason to be like, oh, I'm, let's rewind a little bit. Yeah. Or you just miss it, and you're like, now they get a worse. I think experience. Like watching movies with my brother, like he always he just gets phone out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when a motherfucker has a phone out while you're watching a movie, that's yeah. premium disrespect. I forgot he watches all these. Zach, that like bothers me like a lot. That's why <laughs> like communication's that fucking, important. Yeah, we that pisses this. me the fuck off. Put the phone down, okay? <laughs> Look at that movie. <laughs> yeah, watch the movie. Yeah, talk to me. If if I'm having a conversation with someone and they just like look at their phone, I just want to strangle them right off the bat. It bothers the hell out of me. I get that. Yeah, it's it's like it's a spit in the face. It is a little bit. Yeah. By the way, you know who. Is your audience? I don't know what that means. Madeline. Oh. Yes. Like if she says something and you giggle at all, she like latches onto it. Oh. I've noticed that because she'll like she'll get like a little giggle out of you and then she'll just repeat it over oh, and over again. That's funny. She's yeah. like, it killed once. Yeah. It. She's doing the SpongeBob routine, of yeah. ripping her <laughs> pants. And uh, next time I'll be like, hey, uh, one time is pretty funny, but um, why don't you try mixing it up a little yeah, bit of material? New material. I'm just trying sure. to give some notes. I'm not trying to be a dick. <laughs> but you're, you're kind of losing me on the repeated part. Unless you do it so many times, it comes back to being funny. Like, yeah. Uh, she rarely executes that well. Yeah. She just really drives it into the dirt. <laughs> but uh, that's why she was such a bitch during uh, I Spy two nights ago. Oh. Uh. She was like, we, she had to go to bed without doing it because she was like showing off in front of you. She's mm-hmm. enamored with little Puberton. I think that's like a common thing with like little, little kids. Little kids. You this just... guy's wearing sunglasses inside. He's like Jack Nicholson. <laughs> <laughs> hey kids, I'm, I'm gonna go do some 
some blow in the basement. I'm like, I'm like a fucking rock star. Yeah. Kids don't even fucking look at me. Uh, yeah, I came in pretty cool. I walked in. Muscle suit on, rip off. Uh, now I think kids, I mean, also like how many new people come over here? <laughs> like they're probably just, I like, got a friend. Okay. Well, I, I, I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> I got one or two. I'm just saying though. You Abby's know, like, got like huge circle of friends. Like l- little kids. Like you just bring someone new in. I feel like they're. Yeah. As long as the person's not a freak or yeah. an old person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My first impression wasn't great. I'm just like, what? Uh, you guys got iPads. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> Yeah, because <laughs> like watch TikTok or like you said, not what the hell. No, not yet, not yet. <laughs> they actually don't even know that you can have your own things yet. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. I don't want them thinking there's like personal property in the house. Yeah. No, uh, she gets I was like, communism is <laughs> in front of them. I was like, what age do you think we can get Madeline a phone? And she was like, wait. I'm going to get one of those eventually. Oh. And now all she's been thinking of is like, mm, get me yeah. one of them phones. Same thing with a TV in a room because I was like, what age did I get a TV in my room? That was a game changer. Once that happened, I don't think I left again for. I got pretty lucky. I got a TV in my room pretty young and an Xbox. So oh, it's pretty sad. I was incredibly jealous. Like my stepsister got a phone pretty early because her dad is like, I don't even know the guy, but. He, I think he was doing a little bit of like, I'm bad dad. Like, here's a phone. Here's yeah. a laptop. But she was younger than me. And like, she got a phone before me. And it w- it drove me fucking crazy in that house. Because she had like first gen iPhone or something. You know, I didn't even hit like T-Mobile or what were those called? Paytalk? That was yeah. like my first phone was one of those. <laughs> I just had a, a like Facebook memory earlier when I looked at my phone about like, I'm out of text. Like someone keeps sending me texts and you've made me run out of text. Like if you need me, call me. I'm like 14. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I had talked on the phone, but uh, yeah, that was uh yeah. I hated her for that. I thought she, you know, really bad, really evil for that. And I finally got, I, I did get a cool. My first phone was like a slide up keyboard. Was Pretty it cool. a Motorola side? No, no. no. Okay. My older brother and mom had those cool Motorola flips. And yeah. I just thought those were badass. But it was a, I think it was a straight talk. It was like that, it's like in Walmart brand. And I remember I, at one point, I had like a crush on a girl and I sent her like a string of texts and it ran out of texts like while she was replying at family dinner. <laughs> so I was just like, oh, holy <laughs> fuck. Like, I've completely blown it. Like I've, this is the end of everything. <laughs> God bless <laughs> unlimited texting is yeah. standard for these kinds of phones, you know? Like, yeah. I remember right when like smartphones were coming out over the, the summer, I got a new phone and I didn't know that smartphones were the thing. And so I got this, uh, it was a Siemens brand. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> that's awful. Siemens that's brand. Start. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was a Siemens brand phone and it had, uh, I liked it because you could customize. It had like a goddamn ring of lights that went around. It was just a flip phone. It had like a ring of lights that went around it, and you could customize how they blinked. And that is you, pretty cool. If you set your ringer to a song, you could set it so that they blinked in like rhythm with the song. But it was like chip tunes. It would like downgrade everything to like chip tune <laughs> noises. And so I came back with this fucking laser light show, and this phone that went like no 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 and. Every everybody had moved on to like pocket computers. They're like, "What the fuck is it? Semen makes it, loser." Yeah, I, I it mean, just immediately got called gay. Like the second I stepped off the bus with it, that's awful. Yeah, I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> what was it? What are those called? Jitterbugs. The phone yeah, it's basically yeah, that was a jitterbug. my first phone. I got a jitterbug and all the like, five times text on it, like nine buttons. Yeah, on it. I got that's four it. texts a month, <laughs> half a keyboard. <laughs> I think my peak of texting was before actual keyboards. Like now I got to the point where I just like call people because I'm old. Yeah, yeah. And so when me and Abby were like doing a lot of communication via texting, it was we hit the button like three times to get to the oh, right yeah, letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Texting is fucking horrible. Yeah. It's funny though. I mean, people got really good at that. Like I remember seeing my older brother just like. Abby was fast as fuck, dude. She wouldn't reply to me. What's taking you so long? Dude, I have to hit like buttons to say okay. It's way too much. <laughs> Help. Yeah. When it, did you ever play Adventure Quest? Possibly. 
education game? I feel game? like I've talked about this. No, it's not an oh. education game. It was like a cool RPG sideways game on... Um, yes, I have played it. Yeah. yeah. Is it kind of anime looking yes. or something? Yeah. I was really into that when that came out. And I had like two accounts or something. And like word got around some of my friends where they're like, yeah, he's like pretty, you know, he's playing the game a lot. And the girl was like, made a character and was like, uh, like, can you like level me up and gave me her login stuff? And I, in two tabs, like made our characters go to a place. Oh, God. <laughs> And I was like, hey, and, like made her type like, hey. And then I think like very quick, quickly, I was just like, this is, sad. this is maybe the saddest thing I've ever done this in my is life. So sad. Yeah, I think I probably just like sucked on the barrel of my dad's gun for a while, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then I blew, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, but no, it was it was definitely a low point of my life where I'm like, man, this shit ain't going to happen. Like, what are you doing here? Uh, yeah, so that's when I started like. <laughs> Thugging it out, like taking trend and stuff, <laughs> like hating women. This bitch, she, she won't reply to me on me playing her account <laughs> on Adventure Quest. I, yeah, I went down a pretty nasty pipeline for a while. Fourth grade. Yeah, started a couple movements, but that's the past. And that girl, <clears throat> long gone. Yeah, I heard she went missing or something. <laughs> yeah, I heard she was like long gone, man. Yeah, parents like, would be like, I don't. <laughs> okay, I scorned my dad. Like my parents didn't know anything about like internet, like cybersecurity or anything. But like in that area, you know, it's like very scary. Like I'm not gonna give you my credit card for some weird online website. Like yeah. which makes sense, you know, because your kid's just like, ah, adventure quest, adventure quest. Like, what the fuck is that? I'm sure it was before like purchasing stuff was really stable. Anyways, yeah. Uh, and one time I, I don't even know how this works. Like I don't even know how the scam <laughs> scam worked. But I went over to my friend Cash's house, and we were playing Halo, and then we're like, oh, they're like cheat codes are now a thing. Like, you have a computer. We went on there, looked up Halo cheat codes. I probably mentioned this before, too. And, like, found some website where it's like, yeah, we got plenty. You know, we got a lot of Halo cheat codes. Not even a thing, ever. And it was like, put in your phone number, and I put my dad's phone number in. And it, like signed up for something and it was like, all right, we'll send you the cheat codes. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't have my dad's phone. Like I'm at my friend's house and just never brought it up again. Like a year later, like my dad was being charged monthly somehow for like something I signed him up for during like a bad time for him financially. And he's like, God damn it. You know, like really angry about it. And ever like after that point, it was like, you don't go on that fucking computer. You're going to do some weird you know, scam. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was I kind of like was scared to to buy anything online. Mm. But then when my mom got divorced, I think she was like willing to do anything to like appease us. That's awesome. But yeah. So I got lucky. Oh <laughs> yeah. My God. I, she got me a subscription to <laughs> porn. <laughs> Booker yeah. magazine. Yeah. Asheron's call yeah. RPG. Yeah. Oh, it was badass. It was like, one of those like you had to pay every month to play yeah. it, and uh, I got fucking immediately scammed. God, I, I think it was weird. You, you would play it, and you could. There was like a. I don't know if anybody in the audience probably remembers how the system works, but there's like some sort a lot of, of fans out there for the game. Yeah, probably. There's like four people left alive that have played it. Game so fucking old. I, I know that game. <laughs> Ashron's Call, of course. It was like an early MMO. And there was a system where you could get like a uh, like a squire. And every bit of experience they generated, you got like a small percentage of it. And so people that were super high level, they it was like a fucking like a pyramid scheme. You just had like a bunch of little uh, hirelings that you yeah. give them gear in exchange for them. Every bit of experience they get, you get a little fraction of it. And <laughs> the, awesome. I, yeah. And if so, you're the rich in the game. Yeah. So I got like Sherpa basically. And this guy was like, just do this. And he gave me like something to do. And I, I was like young enough. I just did it for like a week. I was like, yeah, I'm just being used <laughs> like a sap. Like, it's like a, getting on Rust and some guy giving you a pickaxe and goes like, Dude, go yeah. collect these and bring me back the stone. Yeah. I don't know why I willingly did it. But that's one of the few games Bored. out there where you could uh, just level up jump. Oh, 
And so cool. like in like Oblivion the, acrobatics or something. Exactly. Yeah. And it kind of had the same vibe as Oblivion in third person. Okay. Uh, actually probably Morrowind in third person. It yeah. looked more like Morrowind, but like in like the main towns where people were trading and stuff, you'd see people just jumping over two story buildings oh, and shit, awesome. like little grasshoppers. Yeah. Those games were cool as hell. I, this is uh back to like cybersecurity thing a little. Also, well, I, I want to say like, stop me if you've heard this story before, but that's a problem with us is like, you're not going to remember even if I've told it and I don't remember if I've told it. Yeah. Stolt. Brian will stop us. Brian. But of course, Brian was asleep and Stolt, Stolt's PC broke. So I'm editing this one. And uh, and I had to actually cut out this story because it violates some sort of non-disclosure agreement. Uh, I probably signed an NDA. Yeah. No. Uh, oops. <laughs> Don't talk about that guy shit in the cabinet that makes us look bad. Oh fuck. Oh wait, I just remembered. That was the worst thing I could say. Um, got it. Got it. Cut the fuck. Uh, I think I signed some NDA. Well, no, 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 no. There. I think I sent a general like, hey, don't be all chatty. <laughs> don't but, <laughs> like, don't be like a chatty Kathy. But then there were what some. What does that mean? Like, hey, be, don't talk. Like, don't be, talk be, 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 like, be chill. And then there were some interns that were like smart enough and good enough that they yeah. got assigned to like actually like one of my friends got assigned to like a <laughs> elite team, and they were actually working on like up and coming shit that wasn't public yet, and she had to sign an NDA, uh -huh. like a pretty serious one. I don't, I don't remember signing anything like that, but it's, this is also my first experience ever in corporate America. So yeah, they had me sign a lot of shit. You know, I was just like, like John Hancock, John Hancock. I didn't really care because at that time I also didn't think I'd ever be on a, you know, any platform <laughs> blabbing about it. Yeah. Also, what what are NDAs really like? I, I you should sign, break them. Yeah. Anytime a friend gets a cool job and they're like, "Sorry, NDA," I'm like, "Come on, you can talk about it. A little. <laughs> like it's just a little." I. I fucking sign those all the time without thinking about it because they send them via DocuSign. Oh, yeah. And so it's just a click. It's not even me signing something. I just like click, That's legally sure. binding. And then it's like, <laughs> okay. hey, do you want to do like like a Dying Light 2 fucking ad or whatever? And here's the trailer. And I go, <laughs> I then turn around, get on stream and go, oh, man, have you seen the Dying Light trailer? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, let's watch it. You guys <laughs> watch this. Look how shit it is. It it looks like shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh fuck. Like, I forgot I signed it in. I like just reread that. Yeah. That's I mean, yeah, that's actually bad <laughs> if you do that. Happens, often. <laughs> happens surprisingly that's all, that's often. actually really bad, man. Yeah. You should not talk about that. You should keep that shit to yourself. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever signed like a serious NDA. Which uh, you know be uh, I feel a little left out. Yeah. Like I feel a little FOMO. From like <laughs> everyone's sharing these secrets that are so important. They're not. They're never like I've signed. I don't think I've signed an NDA and then gotten the information and said like that was warranted. <laughs> this is gonna change the fucking world. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably more like just if I'm like putting proactive. my if I'm putting my signature on something, I'm hoping to get some goddamn like state secrets. <laughs> it's just fucking bullshit. Aliens are having sex yeah. with people. <laughs> yeah. We have a skeleton man hunting them with a gun. It should be somewhat tempting to like yeah, make me want to break it. Make it a little more tantalizing, a little more dynamic. Yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll get in there. I'll feast on some. Like, don't they want to get me? Don't yeah. they want me to fuck up so they can? What, what happens if you break an NDA? Do they sue you? Or? Yeah, you get fined. Like how much? It well, I don't know. That guy shirt. leaked the GTA 6 trailer and got fucking 20 years in prison or something. Yeah, but he didn't sign an NDA. He just no, I know. It. So yeah. that's like without even legally <laughs> binding paperwork. You leak some secrets. Oh, I see what you're saying, but... You know, yeah, I wonder knows? if it is worse if you did <laughs> sign an NDA. Yes, of course it's worse. Uh, that means you know it's not supposed to be spread around. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I just need to like stay sharp. I need to keep my mind focused on. You need to stop smoking so much goddamn chiba, okay? <laughs> you l lay down the weed. <laughs> stop boozing up. I've been like a goddamn like monster this weekend. I've been drinking like, <laughs> you know, I'm on vacation. You yeah. Know, I'm in Florida. The weather's different. <laughs> I'm down probably 20 beers a night <laughs> until I get into a rage. Yeah. And then I get into a stupor about 20 minutes after that. But yeah, I'm doing a lot of thrashing around at night. They put, they put like ten weighted blankets on me to keep me down. Yeah, it's been pretty crazy. Right Your mattress. Pretty this nice. little, this little fucking <laughs> alien just like locking eyes with me in this fucking collage. 
He's driving me up the wall, dude. Look at that little alien. <laughs> <laughs> he poop added this to try to piss me off because he knew I love this one so much. And now it's like the focal point <laughs> of the entire thing. It's great. Pranked you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pranked you. <laughs> it used to be a child sleeping. Yeah. It was just a child yeah, just it started at just peace. I was like, oh, you're going to keep the little <laughs> falling lady in there? Okay, I'll throw a little fucking alien on like this The falling lady didn't even yeah. end up in the final. Because she isn't as good as the alien. <laughs> she didn't deserve to be. Uh, well, anyways, it is fucking oh. the middle of the goddamn night. And we still need to print off a lot of these yeah, and sign true. them to mail them out. How long is it? Thanks, Thanks, guys, for, for, for watching. i glad to come down here. Uh, uh, on the Forehead Fables <laughs> show. Really had a great time. Yeah, it's it. been awesome. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure Brian's got like a big thing he wants to talk about. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I don't care. God. I gotta, I gotta fucking you print a bunch of shit really and shine all this shit. So like fucking three in the morning. <laughs> oh, God. See you, boys. <laughs> <laughs>